Andy Reid's Eagles 0-2. 4-0, however, following a bye week. They defeated Tampa Bay 20-10 following the bye last season. And Greg Williams in his third season as Bill's head coach, former defensive coordinator with the Tennessee Titans. Yeah, I got seven former players on his staff and three former head coaches. So he's surrounded by a lot of guys that he listens to. Most uh, new one, Dick LeBeau, former head coach of Cincinnati, a, a big advisor that he said he's really learned a lot from, especially in the zone blitz package. Eagles have won the toss. Ryan Lindell gets things started. Kickoff taken at the seven by Ryan Westbrook. And Westbrook taken down just shy of the 30-yard line by Dominique Stevenson. 23-yard return. Donovan McNabb, no touchdown passes over the first two games. He's also the Eagles' top rusher with 109 yards on the ground. Three pro bowlers last season. Trey Thomas got to Hawaii twice. Eagles will rotate the backs. Thrashing Kingston, the wideouts. And the tight end is three-time pro bowler Chad Lewis. Penalty markers on first and ten from the 29 as the catch is made by Todd Pinkston. And he takes it into Bill's territory at the Buffalo 44. 27-yard pass play. Bill Carollo, our referee this afternoon. And it's against the Bills. Kenny, that's the best pass I've seen Donovan McNabb throw since probably week two of the preseason. And it was down the field and right on the money. And they went right after their best corner, Nate Clements, right away. And Andy Reid has come back here and made a statement on the first play saying, we're going to be aggressive, and more importantly, I believe in my guy, McNabb. That's McNabb's longest completion of the season, 27 yards. From the Buffalo 44, Deuce Staley gains two yards down to the Bills, 42. London Fletcher in on the tackle, setting up second down and eight. 650 pounds in the middle with Sam Adams and Pat Williams. A very fast group of linebackers spikes the ex Bengal Posey with the Texans last season. Two interceptions for Nate Clements last week, and of course, Lawyer Malloy, the strong safety coming over just prior to week one from New England. I tell you, McNabb is having a hard time getting the play from Brad Childress, the offensive coordinator. Looked over there about three or four times to the sideline. And this is not what you want to see coming off a of bye week where you have this type of confusion so early in the game. With the play clock winding down, McNabb forced to call timeout just 56 seconds in. Well, you know the one thing that's been missing from McNabb in the first two losses and everybody's looking at the mechanics and the inaccuracy is, is the smile. The guy that has had so much fun being an MVP candidate in this league and taking this team to two championship games. And I asked him, I said, what happens first? Does the smile happen first and you're loose and happy and then the good play results or you have to have success early and then you get relaxed? And he said, I mean, I got to go out there today and I got to be me. And he said, I, and what that means is I've got to be smiling and having fun. It's a serious game, but I can't play tight. In the first two weeks, I thought he played really tight. Here's McNabb on second and eight. He takes off, has the first down, and more. All the way down to the Bills' 17-yard line. 25 yards on the ground for McNabb. Well, I mean, that's the other part of the package of Donovan McNabb right here is his ability to step up. Like, he'll find the escape route here. He always steps up first, and then he looks to the right or to the left to escape. And what Buffalo is going to try to do today is not rush behind him so he can step up and miss the end. Right there, you see at the bottom, Schobel here. Aaron Schobel right there is trying to keep him in that pocket. You're not going to contain him, man, and he's not going to go down easy. Play clock winding down. Down to five. Westbrook, the lone pass. 
from the Bills 17. McNabb in trouble, gets away from Schobel, and now still on his feet, and now goes down. Finished off by Jeff Posey. Schobel had two chances, but McNabb showing his escapability, and then Posey comes in for a loss of six. Okay, this has to be a breakdown of protection because here's the end here. Trey Thomas blocks down, and there's nobody to block out. Now, somebody gave a bad call there for Trey Thomas to block down, and nobody to pick up that end. So we've seen a forced timeout already, Kenny, and we've seen a protection breakdown early here on the opening drive. And that's some of the things that has hurt this team in those first two losses. 11th time McNabb has been sacked in two games plus one series. On second and 17, Correll Buckhalter, penalty marker. That's only the second carry for Buckhalter this season. And he's the starter. Yeah. Well, they've only, the running backs have only carried it 21 times in the first two games. Second Bills penalty during this opening drive as Buckhalter game nine down to the 16th. Ferrello checking for the number. 94, defense, five yard penalty, replay second down. Aaron Schobel, the guilty Bill. Well, they're going to run right behind the Pro Bowl guard, Jermaine Mayberry, at right guard here, along with John Runyon. I talked to both those guys yesterday, and flat out, those guys were angry. See that? That's a great job by Mayberry, taking Sam Adams right out of the picture. And then Buckholter, who just hasn't had a chance to do anything this year, only two touches of the ball before today, saw that hole open wide open. Brian Westbrook, the long back. Second and 12 from the Bills, 19. And it's flipped to James Thrash, the wide receiver. He carried the ball 18 times last season. And he gains four down to the Bills, 15, setting up third down and long. Well, we had a long talk with Greg Williams on Friday, the head coach of Buffalo, and he said Andy Reid is the master of deception. In fact, he went back four years under Andy Reid here, and he saw every reverse they've run, which he said Thrash had 18 of a year ago. And then he said all the deceptives and the fakes. He said, hey, they started the season in the year 2000 against Dallas with an onside kick. So they were... McNabb got himself involved there. Brought the block to Geo Spikes. Yeah. Brian, you mentioned in the open, Eagles 0 for 13 this season in third and eight plus. This is a third and eight. And McNabb fires. Looks to be close to the marker. L.J. Smith... His first NFL reception, second round pick out of Rutgers. And McNabb here, good job of picking up the, the blitz of London Fletcher, but the ball is low. L.J. Smith has no chance to do anything with that ball after he catches it. They're going to measure this. If he gets that ball up in the midsection there, he's got a chance to turn around and run with that ball. Saw the ball right on our first down line and it is a first down so on third and eight the Eagles finally convert right and McNabb here looks like a different guy and he said that early success is going to be so important to, to today's game he said you just need to build on something here to get something started to finish the drive and completing a third and eight can do that for him. So the completion on third and eight sets up first and goal from just inside the seven. Off the fake to Thrash. Take it down to the three-yard line. And the Posey made the stop. Just looking down there at Trey Thomas, the left tackle who they just ran behind. We saw him in the open just trying to fire up the troops. And this offensive line, they got a lot of pride. They've been together as long as any group in the league. But they haven't had any opportunity to run the football. And that's what the offensive line always Number wants to do first. Bobby Five. Williams yeah. is eligible. Number 66 has checked in. I believe me, he's not going to be Warren Sapp out there. They're not yeah. throwing the ball to Bobby Williams. Richie and Buck Halter are the backs. Here's Buck Halter into the end zone. Touchdown. Come on here, guys. 
Well, that's the start that Andy Reid so confidently talked about in the meeting room yesterday with us. And he said, Donovan McNabb is a franchise quarterback. We're not taking him out of the game, and we're going to ride the horse. And he made that comparison. Made a comparison to Larry Bird saying he's got to keep shooting, but that offensive line just won that battle on that drive. Buck Walter's first touchdown of the season, missed all of last season for the torn ACL. David Akers for the point after. Eagles okay. score on the opening drive after scoring only one touchdown in 27 possessions in their first two games. Bell Sunday is brought to you by Southwest Airlines, proud sponsor of the NFL and official airline of Super Bowl 38. Eagles drive 71 yards in eight plays and lead 7 0. Yeah, and you know, that looked like Donovan McNabb right there. I mean, you know, you got the run, you got the scramble, you got the, the first throw of the game to Pinkston, kind of broke the ice right away. He had, that, he had that deer in the headlight look in the second half of that New England game. He looked like he was just staring in his face, and the worst just got worse. And then it just snowballed. David Akers kicks off for the Eagles, taken at the nine by Antonio Brown, the rookie out of West Virginia. Watch out. Taken down by the kicker, Akers. 40-yard return for Antonio Brown, who spent last year in the Canadian Football League, setting up terrific field position for Drew Bledsoe and the Bills. Leon, your reactions following today's devastating loss. Football's a four-time Pro Bowl quarterback, Drew Bledsoe, set team records last season for yards, attempts, and completions. Bledsoe and the Bills start from the Eagles' 49-yard line following the big return by Antonio Brown. Bledsoe getting the throw on first down, and down he goes back at the 41-yard line. Second sack of the season for Corey Simon. And this is where the Eagles feel they can win. Against Mike Pasillo, who's making just a second-year player. Corey Simon comes right through him, one-on-one, -on -one, and collapsed the pocket. And one thing that we know about Drew Bledsoe, he is a pure pocket quarterback. And the way to disturb him is to make him move. And if you collapse the pocket, it gives him the most amount of trouble. Bledsoe sacked four times by the Dolphins on Sunday night. Only the third Eagles sack this season. Second down and 18. And Bledsoe's pass stood for a gain of just five to Eric Bowles, wrapped up immediately by Troy Vincent, setting up a third down and long for the Buffalo Bills on their first offensive possession. To look at the men protecting Bledsoe. Reuben Brown has gone to the last seven pro balls. Joe Burns. Second year back out of Georgia Tech, making his first NFL start for the injured Travis Henry. Four receivers set, third and 13. Bills have to get to the Eagles, 39. And Bledsoe's pass incomplete. He was looking for the former Steeler and Jaguar, Bobby Shaw. And that's the toughest situation for Drew Bledsoe. Third and long, he was in those situations against Miami last week. And the blitz came. I mean, here's Joe Burns now. He's getting his first shot at what the Eagles are capable of doing. They went to a three-man line with three linebackers that time, and they brought all three. Made Bledsoe rush that throw. So the Bills go three and out. Brian Mormon punting to Brian Westbrook, taking out the 15-yard line. And Westbrook brings it back to the 26, 11-yard return. 37-yard punt, Sam Gantz. Brought him down. 7-0, Eagles. We put the Eagles' first two games in perspective. Only 10 points over their first two. Fewest points over their first two games since 1985. What will they do today? Well, they get off to a good start. I mean, getting a touchdown. They only had one touchdown the first 27 series this year, so they broke that streak early. They start from the 26th. Cutting to the outside is Brian Westbrook. Good run on first down as he picks up a first. 
gain of 11 before he was forced out. We check in for the first time with Pete Brown in Los Angeles. Hey, Kenny Gusterot in for the injured Dante Culpepper. 15-yard fade pattern to Randy Moss. Great individual effort. Bad back and all, David Boston. Are you watching? And then take a look at the Rams. Great field position by their defense. They hand off to Lamar Gordon. He scores four carries, 22 yards. They're up by seven. Back to Kenny and the hardest-looking analyst in the business, right, Brian Baldinger. Randy Moss and Terrell Owens on the same field with only one football. Here's Westbrook on first down, down across the 40, gate of four, Pat Williams made the tackle, setting up second down and six. But when you ask the Eagles who's the starting running back, they, they don't have an answer, because there is, each guy has a different skill. Westbrook is a guy they feel has the speed to get to the corner, we just saw that on the play before. Deuce Taylor is a guy that understands blitz pickup, and he's very good in the screen and passing game. And then Buckholter is a guy right now that has... The, the best burst, the most explosion out of all the backs. And Remus Staley held out in camp, still getting back into football shape. McNabb dumping it off on second and six. It was tipped, and Buckholter unable to come up with it. And, and that's the reason why Buckholter isn't the starting back and out there all the time, because he doesn't have the best set of hands. Staley's better, and Westbrook is better. Ryan Denny got a piece of it. Yeah, it came out looking like a knuckleball, but that ball got hit. And they haven't been good in the screen and short passing game, and Hugh Staley has always been a big part of that. Third down and six. Three wide receivers. Westbrook in the backfield. Eagles have to get to the 47. McNabb lobbing it up, and the catch is made for a first down in Bills territory by James Thrash. Eagles needed six, they gained 17. You gotta protect first to make this throw, and Brian Westbrook does a great job here of coming over and picking up Lawyer Malloy. That kept McNabb's backside clean, and then this is a touch throw, dropped it right in the breadbasket of Thrash, of Thrash. And McNabb knows it, he knows he's on, and then he also gave Westbrook a nice little pat on the helmet for picking up that blitz. There's got to be a big trust factor between back and quarterback to be able to do that. McNabb now 3 of 4, 51 yards from the Bills, 43. Buckholter lost the football, and the Eagles recovered. John Wellborn, left guard on the recover. Uh, you know, this team came in minus seven in that turnover ratio, and only the last time that they had a minus seven or greater turnover ratio in two games, it was in 1999. you got to go back to Donovan McNabb's rookie year. This team has done a great job of taking care of the football, and they said, trying to clear out what the big problems were in their two losses, he said that was the biggest problem, giving the ball away too easily. Loss of two on the flight. Second down and 12. McNabb to Westbrook. Penalty marker. As Westbrook races down to the 41-yard line. <laughs> With the offensive pass interference on the Eagles. Somebody pushed off you down field. Don't step in front of me, okay? When you move, that's me. Right now, they've, they've thrown the ball six times, and they pass it eight times. You know, Andy Reid has that first 15-play chart. And uh, it's clear that he came out wanting to run the ball after he loosened up with that first pass. Three to one ratio, Brian, over the first two games. Three passes for every run. Yeah, and you know, you're not gonna win in this league. I mean, everybody's talking about in the pregame show today, the running back, Priest Holmes and Jamal Lewis, the guys that are racking up the yards for this league, and those teams also happen to be winning. It will be second down and 22. The Eagles have to get to the Bills 33 for a first down. The Eagles scored on their opening possession. They drove 71 yards. <laughs> Westbrook cuts to the outside. Takes it to midfield, gain of five. So it will be third down and 17, late flag. Late flag thrown along the far sideline. 
Now, Lauren Malloy came out like a shot coming off the corner. They ran right by him. But what an attitude he's brought to this football team. Buck Malloy come, coming off this corner here. Nice cut block that time by Chad Lewis just to get him down on the ground. Malloy involved with Hank Fraley. Well, Fraley's going to be chipping you at the end of play. Over. 15-yard penalty. First down. Well, that's hard to believe that they called that a lawyer, Malloy, because he held off. He wanted to go after Fraley, and it looked like he pulled off him. What a break for the Eagles. It would have been third down and 17. Well, watch the play here. I mean, here's Malloy. He comes after him and kind of just holds up. And he points at him. And it was clear that Fraley went after his legs late on that play, and that's why Malloy stood up to him. So instead of third and 17, Eagles get an automatic first down at the Bills 35. Three wide receivers and a give to Westbrook. Not much there. Game two, London Fletcher. In on the tackle for the Bills. Here's, here's the last play. You see Hank Fraley coming in to the right. There he is, right here, coming after Malloy. Didn't really get a big piece of him. He didn't get any of him. Just kind of a big piece of blubber kind of rolling on the ground right there. But uh, Fraley's one of those guys that said he was ticked off that he wants to run the ball. And they've come out with an attitude here early in this first quarter. L.J. Smith shifting. Second and eight. McNabb pump fake, and again, the Bills get a piece of it. For the second time, it's Ryan Denny. And we check in once again with Jimmy. Hey, Kenny, take a look at the safety shading up to the top of your screen toward Randy Moss. Once Ontario Smith breaks the line of scrimmage, clear sailing, five yards to pay dirt. Hey, it's the Vikings on top, 14-0 still in the first. Back to Kenny and Ryan. That yeah, JP, one of those teams that won their last three last year in their first three, a six-game winning streak for the Vikings. And at home, they've always been tough. Getting off to a fast start. Doing it without Dante Culpepper. Remember, the Eagles were successful on their first third and eight. And the gas pass. That should be a force out. That should yeah. be good. Caught by Pinkston. Yes. And that is not reviewable. No, it isn't. And, and the force out is this. If Todd Pinkston could have come down with the ball inbound when he caught it and was pushed out, they called that a complete. Working on Kevin Thomas, you see, he gets pushed there. That's a force out. You're right, Kenny. You cannot review that play. That's a first down for the Eagles, and that's the second time on third and eight plus today they've gotten a first down. Two for two in that situation after 0 for 13 in their losses to Tampa Bay and New England at home. And he also threw that ball high, and the one thing Kingston can do... Yeah, the, the fans wanted to challenge, but they can't. They can't challenge that. The Greg Williams, who knows the rules, he told us all about him the other day, knows not to challenge. From the 22, McNabb on first down, can't find anyone. Tucks it in. And is tackled after a short game by Takeo Spikes. Now, one of the things you have to do with McNabb when he's on, you, you have to spy. you got to have somebody that has the speed to be able to catch him. So one of these two guys right here is just looking. It looks like Takeo Spikes right here has got him if he comes out, number 51. See, Nate Clements comes up and Spikes ends up making the tackle. Both those little linebackers are capable of running stride to stride with McNabb. Not many linebackers can do that. McNabb picked up two, setting up second down and eight. Westbrook has become the feature back so far in his first half. Westbrook takes it out of bounds at the 16, pushed out by Lawyer Malloy. So the Eagles now facing third down and three. You know, as Andy gets ready to call another play, the guys that you want to watch here as they're running this ball are the two tackles, John Runyon and Trey Thomas, because they outweigh the ends they're playing against, Ryan Denny and Aaron Schobel by 50 pounds apiece, sometimes 70 pounds. And so they feel like they can bend those guys in half. And right now, that's how they're getting to the edge. The tackles are winning at the point. Brian, the Eagles perfect on third down. Three for three. Pinkston 
Make it four for four on third down in quarter number one. You know, you look at McNabb right now, and everybody in Philadelphia for the last two weeks, and that's part of the problem when you lose and you stick the place up before you buy it. You get two weeks of criticism and two weeks of people telling you what's wrong. And everybody was looking at his feet and his mechanics. But he said that to him, it's all about confidence. And when he gets to the groove and he feels the game the way he is right now, that he's as good as there is. And he said he hasn't wavered in his, in his confidence. He's tuned out everybody in the media, and he said he's just going to come out and play today. Does that include you? Yeah, he had to tune me out, because I was one of those guys that was on him. Okay, we Eagles go, keep it on the ground on first down. And a three for Buck Balter. Aaron Schobel, the tackle. You know, you look at this defense, and, you know, they, they brought in a lot of new parts this year. You know, they brought in Sam Adams and Takeo Spikes and Lori Moore. That's, that's the center of your defense. And last week, Ricky Williams pounded the middle of that defense 42 times for over 150 yards, and they wore down. They wore down in the second half. That's what a running game could do to the pro bowlers like Lori Malloy and Sam Adams, guys that can stop the run. If Ryan, keep pounding it. This the 14th play of the drive for the Eagles. McNabb uses his second timeout, but there was movement perhaps prior to McNabb calling timeout. All right, get the timeout first, then. Bill's not happy about it. Is it a marvel of engineering? A triumph of technology? Sunday is brought to you by your Lexus dealer and the new 2004 LS, the ultimate expression of their passionate pursuit. By Dr. Pepper and your local Dr. Pepper bottler, be you, nothing's better, Dr. Pepper. By Snickers, hungry, grab a Snickers. And by Sprint, proudly offering picture mail and PCS Vision picture phones. Now here's what Andy Reid thought about Donovan McNabb calling that last time out. Pretty smart play. You know, because it looked like Chad Lewis was going to be offside. That's what the Bills were arguing. But it looks like that McNabb got that timeout before the offside. Dominated this game here. Controlled the ball. That's what teams have been doing to the Eagles. And that's what the Dolphins last week did to Buffalo. They couldn't get the offense on the field. The Eagles had an eighth play touchdown drive earlier. This the 14th play of this drive. Second and seven. McNabb under pressure, and Schobel takes him down. Second bill sack. Aaron Schobel has led the Bills in sacks the last two seasons. Loss of seven on this play. Okay, was there coverage here? I mean, how good was he? You see Todd Pinkston running in there, and he's, he's doubled. That's a bracket right there. And then you see James Thrash here. And Nate Clements has him all the way and then the tight end Chad Lewis I mean there was three options right there and there was no place for McNabb to go that time and there's been times this year where receivers have been open and McNabb hasn't seen them that time everybody was tough Eagles are four for four on third down shuttle pass to Staley tripped up gets down to the eight yard line London Fletcher made the tackle Staley gave seven and with time running down Fletcher in this first quarter, the Eagles off. send out the field goal unit. Well, that's the match of section right there, that shovel pass. And Andy has all the tricks. And that's really a safe play because if it's batted down or it comes out of his hands funny or bounces off the pass, it's an incomplete pass. He still kicks the field goal. 26-yard attempt. Akers' only field goal this season. He hit from 57 against New England. Four Detmer to hold it. I would... Baker's kick is good. So a 16-play drive. Eagles two and up time. They lead by 10. Eagles score on each of their first two possessions. An eight-play drive leading to a touchdown and a 16-play drive. Brian, which queued up eight minutes, 36 seconds. Eagles average just under 23 minutes in time of possession their first two games second from the bottom of the nfl well you know what the most important thing after the first two drives for the eagles for the fans for the, the whole organization of the eagles is to play a mcnapp i mean he's come out and he doesn't look like the guy that struggled in the first two weeks 
And really, he needed to send a message to the whole team that he was going to be back and he's capable of, of playing great football. Remember, Antonio Brown brought one back 40 yards earlier. And this time tackled at the 33-yard line. 21-yard return with three seconds remaining in the first quarter. Lito Shepard made the tackle. I talked to Drew Bledsoe, you know, on Friday. He spent a long time with him. He's very calm and relaxed. And they didn't have the ball last week, especially in the second half. They, they threw two interceptions in the end zone a week ago. They, they left a lot of points on the board. And then they just, they, they played keep away. Ricky Williams running the ball. Bledsoe never had a chance to really work any magic. And as a result, he had less than 100 yards passing. They haven't had the ball today. Same thing's happened. They've run only three plays in the first quarter. Off the play fake. Bledsoe complete. Eric Bolds for a first down out to the 47-yard line. Penalty flag as time has run out here in quarter number one. It's against the Bills. quarter last week today minus three beginning Tuesday baseball's postseason begins on Fox as the Cubs try to win their first playoff series in 95 years when they take on a Braves team trying to avoid another playoff disappointment in game one of the NLDS then on Thursday it's game two of the American League Division Series between the Yankees and the Twins. The road to the World Series begins Tuesday and Thursday at 8 Eastern, 5 Pacific on Fox. Congratulations. Yeah, congratulations to Clemens yesterday winning his last regular season game. 310th win for the Rockets. Bill Burns getting two. Joe Torrey sent him out for the seventh inning and then went out. So that Roger Clemens would... The yeah, standing we'll ovation. Uh, enjoy the one final regular season standing ovation when he was removed. Cubs, Cubs yesterday, a doubleheader out at Wrigley. Standing ovation. I mean, the Cubs, how long has the Benson's have been out there, Kenny? Haven't won a playoff series in 95 years. Second down and 18. Shaw comes in motion. Blood up with time, complete to Shaw. And he's taken down at the 34-yard line by Sheldon Brown. Gain of nine, setting up third down and nine. Bills have run only six plays. We've not been able to introduce you to the Eagles defense. Darwin Walker moving from tackle to end, replacing the injured Brandon Whiting. Wayne, Simino, and Emmons, the linebackers. Injuries in the secondary. So Clinton Hart replaces Brian Dawkins at free safety. Lito Shepard replacing Bobby Taylor at right corner. Third down and nine. Three wide receivers set. Bills have to get to the 43 for a first down. Bledsoe was under pressure. Gets it away to Molds. Tiptoes down the sidelines. And picks up the first down. Terrific second effort by Eric Moulds, who also becomes the number two all-time receiver in Bill's team history. Jumping over Thurman Thomas, trailing only Andre, Andre Reed. Reed. Yeah. And it's going to be interesting to see how they get Eric Moulds on track today, whether Bledsoe is going to have time to get the ball to him. Must have been an, an injury in the Eagles secondary. Tr Troy Vincent not out there on the field was bothered by a hamstring all week in practice. He's out, so Lito Shepard and Sheldon Brown are covering the wide receivers right now. From the 44-yard line, Joe Burns out across midfield. We're told it's a hamstring, and Vincent's return is questionable. Well, I talked to Troy yesterday, and I asked him about the hamstring. He said that it was just fatigue during practice, but they're asking Troy Vincent to do a lot this year. They're asking him to blitz a lot more, a lot more man-to-man -man coverage all over the field against Keyshawn that first Monday night, and it's not holding up. So now they're really going to be tested. Second and five. Burns tries to cut it back inside. Loses a yard as we check in with JB once again. 
Kenny and Brian, take a look at how the Rams capped off a 12-play, 80-yard drive. Mark Bowser dropping back, stepping up. Dane Looker comes back wide open. Six-yard strike, 14-0 Rams. That in the second. Let's take it back to Kenny Albert and the insightful Brian Baldy. <laughs> All right. Thanks, JB. That Dane Looker was the MVP of that NFL Europe League two years ago. And getting to be that number third or fourth receiver for the Rams, playing pretty good football. Shaw in motion, third down and five. Bills have to get to the 45. And they do. Nice catch, Josh Reed. Down at the Eagles 41-yard line, a gain of nine before he was brought down by his college nemesis, Leo Shepard. Yeah, well, they both played in the SEC. You know, Leo Shepard played at Florida and Josh Reed at LSU. They played against either each other twice. Andy Reid told Lito Shepard, look, you played this guy before, tighten the coverage up and challenge him. And that's what he did. But that was a good read by Reed, <laughs> and it was a great throw by Bledsoe. So you have Andy Reid, yeah. Josh, Josh Reed, Reed, you got Reed's Reed. out there. Yeah. We talked about Andre Reed. Andre Reed, yeah. His reading and arithmetic. From the 41, out of the backfield, Burns. And the former Georgia Tech star gains eight down to the 33-yard line. You know, with, with Vincent out, Brian, he's yeah. in the locker room. Eagles sent three of their starters in the defensive secondary to the Pro Bowl last year. Right now, none of them are in the game. Wiped two, out. Two inactive and Vincent in the locker room. Yeah, and the other thing is, you know, that was a big strategy today was to put Troy Vincent on Eric Mould to try to slow him down. And right now, Sheldon Brown, who's getting his opportunity at the bottom here, has got Eric Mould really one-on-one -on -one with a little safety help over the top. But here's Moles at the bottom. Bledsoe changing the play, second down and two. Bill Burns, nothing there. Corey Simon, good job by the Eagles front. Well, that's where they really miss Travis Henry right there. I mean, a guy that had over 1,400 yards a year ago. Tried all week. In fact, Greg Williams told me down the field before the game that he had tears in his eyes when he told him that he just, he just couldn't do it. The ribs were rubbing together. The pain was just shooting through his whole body. He really wanted to be out there. And so Joe Burns making his first NFL start is pretty good between the tackles, but he doesn't have the speed to get to the corner the way that man does. Bill Burns carried the ball five times last year as a rookie. Third down and two. Bledsoe over the top. And Reed lost the football. I wish it is. Was it a catch? Or an incompletion? Michael Lewis bringing it back. Question is, is it ruled a completed pass? It is not. It is an incompletion. Say the officials back at the 30-yard line. An incomplete pass. Reed never had possession, according to the officials. Awfully slow to make this call, though. Well, his knee, is, his knee was down when the ball came out. That's, I think, what you're going to see. The back judge, Bob Wagner, very emphatically yes. signaling. See, the knee's down, pass. and then the ball came out. You know, it's one of those bang-bang plays, and I think they got the call right. That's almost a, almost a smile on Andy Reid's face. Think? Well, I mean, it's hard to tell these days. He did, he did get a chance during the bye week to go out and visit his sons, and one playing football at his old junior college, Glendale Community College, went out to see Garrett play. With the ASU where his son Britt is a walk-on player. Greg Williams' son plays for Princeton. Yeah. Chip off the old blocks there. Well, here's the play though. Shaw over the middle. Hit by Lito Shepard. Boom. Knee down, ball out. Knee down, ball out. It wouldn't be a good challenge. I mean, this is just a good call. And any completion or incompletion can be challenged. Right there. I mean, see, the ball is still in there. Result of the play is incomplete pass. Fourth down. Well, you can't review that. 
and the result is that it's, it's they'll review and he's going to let uh, Brian Mormon go out there and attempt a 51 yard field goal Lindell's career long is 54 spent the last three years with the Seahawks it's a 51 yard attempt Mormon the holder and Lindell's kick is wide to the right Bill's frustrated Eagles hoping to turn things around. They lead by 10. But get coach Back at Orchard Park, County Albert Bryan Baldinger. Greg Williams, terrific field position for the Eagles following the first place. The field goal down to the McNabb off the way. Terrific start. Yeah, he really has. It looks like he's been refreshed. Over a little sun in the desert. Also, Eagles have been very good for the past few years. Eagles have been very good for the past few years. Eagles have been very good for the past few years. Eagles have been very good for the past few years. Eagles have been very good for the past few years. Eagles have been very good for the past few Hand off goes week. inside and powering up to the 44 yard line. Four yards. 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 Four or standing Singles still, they've got to be in, moving. Give right. yourself some inertia, a little movement. There's McNabb, he flings it out to Staley. Staley tries to cut back, then takes it to the outside. Yeah, Crosses yeah, the 45 and is run out of bounds up at the 47-yard line. Posey, Pick up of just two, down. and Jeff Posey, who was cut by the Eagles after training yeah, camp three. a couple of years ago, puts his deuce out of bounds and puts the Eagles at a third down and four. And see, that's what we're used to seeing. If Donaldson looks down the field, doesn't like what he sees downfield, the little jump off passes to Deuce Taylor, and then Deuce making things happen after the kick. L.J. Smith split as a wide receiver over the far side of the field. Nobody in the backfield, and the official is holding things up. I'm out, I'm out. Buffalo. Buffalo takes a timeout, as they were not expecting the empty backfield and the five receivers. Tomorrow on UPN 57, Gary Paul. 8.17 to go in the first half. 10-0 Eagles. Spurs have a third down and four at their own 47-yard line. Both Staley and Westbrook are in the game. Staley is the up back in the eye. Now they shift out of it. Both as wide receivers. Empty backfield. Five receivers. McNabb back. Swings it out to Staley. Looks for running room, has it on second effort, plunges into Bill's territory as he sashays to his left, leaps across the 50, and comes down at the Buffalo 47. Got away from Pearson Prelude, left him in the dust. I tell you what, this is very creative, smart play calling on Andy Reid's part. You know, they forced the Bills to call a timeout initially. They come back, they run a set where they're going to spread at the last instant, and they, they send the Buffalo Bills just scattering around, not knowing who to pick up. Backs is split. Staley stays in. McNabb pumps once. Goes deep. Down the middle. Overthrows Freddie Mitchell. Running a deep post at the 10. He was out there, and McNabb threw it five yards too far. Yeah, Mitchell was open. Really cool. Everything worked, but the pass thrown too low. Oh, I like that play. Boy, I like that. You get Freddie Mitchell going down the middle, going down the hole. You, know, you see the two safeties split, and then you see Freddie Mitchell just streaking right down the middle with the linebacker trailing him. I like the matchup. Everything is there except the throw. He's only got London Fletcher, a linebacker, trailing him. They got to come back to that play. And that's the one McNabb has to hit. Lost to the near side. Single setback. Pinkston, the man in motion, from right to left. McNabb back, gives the football off to Westbrook, and Westbrook gets very, very little as the, ball, as the Bills Earth. slid over and knocked him out of bounds, out of bounds forced him to run out of bounds inside of the 45-yard line. Westbrook has that real nice change of pace move. He's got Shaquille Spikes right in his face and Spikes is beaming down on him. 
He lulls him to sleep and then tries to burst to the outside. But he runs out of space to the outside. Boy, I saw Mitchell on the field an hour before the game with McNabb, and they were just playing catch. One long pattern after another. Freddie back in, lined up to the far side inside of Flash. Pinks to the near side. It is third down of 10. Ball at the Bills, 47. Single setback, and the Eagles jump off sides. It was Runyon straightening up. Ball started, 69, offense. Five-yard pattern, third down. Well, that's not going to make a big difference on this play because instead of third and 10, it'll be third and 15, and they're still going to have to go downfield. It wasn't a will they pass or will they run situation. It does back them up into the, their own territory at the 48. They have to get to the Bills 37 for a first down. Taylor flanks as a wide receiver to the near side. Again, an empty backfield. McNabb takes the drop. He looks. He lets it go. And it is complete to L.J. Smith, but way short of a first down as the rookie from Rutgers makes the catch at the 45 and is tackled at the 43 by Antoine Whitfield back of the game. Well, I see what they're trying to do, but it's a, a very good job of staying at home and covering this thing by the Bills. Trying to run L.J. Smith underneath the coverage, clearing out to the inside for him, and then hoping that he can catch the ball and make a play. Dirk Johnson in the punt. It is a knuckler. And it is going to bounce at the five and run into the end zone. Can't do that. When you have the short field, you have to be able to push punt or put it out of bounds. Driving an outing is simply exhilarating. Do what I did. Visit your local area out feeling too comfortable with the Eagles ahead 10-0. Keep in mind that Troy Vincent is out of the game and Bobby Taylor inactive today. So you are dealing with a couple of second-year quarterbacks who have talent but little experience. Well, and the only way they're going to get it is just like this. These guys have got to grow up, and they've got to grow up quickly. The last possession for the Bills, defense looked very, very good. They bend a little bit, but they didn't break. When it got down to crunch time, the guys stood up. They made plays. They, on third down, forced the ball out of the receiver's hands, turned the ball over. First and 10 for the Bills at their own 20-yard line. Back to the eye wide receiver split. Bledsoe on play action is back. He's looking. He fires to the far side. Sam Gash catches it for only a one-yard gain before he's smacked by Carlos Evans. Yeah, he's second and nine. Sam got gashed from the back by Carlos Evans coming from his linebacker spot. Check up of only a yard or two. Carlos Evans is playing outstanding football for this team. Just a solid guy. You know, a lot of the things that he that he does don't appear on the stat sheet, but he's always playing a very solid football game. Gash spent, spent seven years in New England before coming to the Bills, then went to the Ravens, and now back with the Bills. On second down, it goes to Burns, and Burns slashes up the, the 25 up to the 26 to 27 yard line. It'll be short. The Bills will have a third down and three. Eagles up 10 nothing. just over five minutes remaining in the first half. On that right side, Mike Williams and Priscilla, they're doing a very nice job of blocking. You know, that's where the Bills are finding success, running the football on their right side. 49ers have major problems, Mike. Minnesota leading them 21 nothing in the second quarter. And don't forget the 49ers lost to Cleveland in San Francisco last week. Shotgun formation, three wide receivers. Low snap. Bledsoe digs it out. Look, fires. Leaping reception by Bobby Shaw for a first down at the 38. Bobby Shaw makes the catch. Takes a hit from Nickelback Roderick Hood. Well, and the key is Bledsoe having the time. These receivers are going to get open if he had the time to throw the football. This time, he gets time. Gets good protection to... The pressure gets pushed to the outside. Bledsoe steps up into the pocket and finds Shaw down the field. Shaw made a nice reception. He spent four years in Pittsburgh and one in Jacksonville. First and ten bills up at the 38. Back goes Bledsoe again. Here comes the rush. He lets it go. He completes it to Mark Campbell, the tight end across the Eagles, 45, down to the 43. N.D. Kalu 
came within a hair of sending Bledsoe into the upper deck, but Bledsoe just got rid of it, and the play picks up 17 yards. And you know Bledsoe could feel that pressure coming from his backside, but he stands tall in the pocket, delivers that pass down to Mark Campbell, who's running across the football field, makes a big catch, and the Bills are once again on the move. Nice play. Mark Campbell was acquired in a trade with Cleveland. First and ten Bills at the Eagles 42. Bledsoe fires again to Mark Campbell. Across the 40 and down to the 36. Play picks up about seven. Clinton Hart and Nate Wayne making the stop. So, Mike, you now have Clinton Hart in for Brian Dawkins. He's a rookie you have, who was a practice squatter a year ago. He's got some experience in Europe, never even played college football. You have Clinton Hart, Sheldon Brown, and Lito Shepard. You've got a very green secondary is what you're telling me. Michael, right. Michael Lewis is a second-year man. Michael Lewis is a second-year You've got very, very green. And if Bledsoe gets time, it's going to be problems. You've got to hit home with the blitzes and the pressure. Second and three. Quick pick to Joe Burns. And the Eagles cover that well as Burns takes off to the far side, the right. But the Eagles tackle him. Marco Coleman swung over with Nate Wayne at the 35-yard line to put the Bills in a third down and two. Bet you they don't go for a field goal if they don't pick this up. I think you're right. 2.08 remaining to be played here in the first half. Getting set for the Toyota two-minute morning brought to you by your local Tri-State Toyota dealers. Toyota, get the feeling. And there is the two-minute morning with the score. That's the two-minute morning. You're ready to get it. nothing Eagles on the Eagles radio network. 94. At halftime in the Tampa Bay game, the Eagles were down 3-0. In the New England game, they were down 17-7 at the half. Right now, with two minutes exactly remaining in the first half, they lead the Bills here in Buffalo. 10 to nothing, but the Bills are threatening with a third down and two in the football just outside the Eagles' 35-yard line. The sun's shining brilliantly right now, and the clouds have disappeared. Into the shotgun goes Bledsoe with Burns just to his left. Three wide receivers, slot to the near side, quarterback's left. That goes Bledsoe, he is loading up, he fires, he completes it to Bobby Shaw, breaks the tackle at the 25, now fumbles the football, it is picked up, and running with the football, and fumbling it as Roderick Hood, and after it, picking it up again, is Clinton Hart. Now let's see if it goes back. Bobby Shaw. I think the Eagles are going to get the ball back this time. Well, a good indicator, none of the officials are down the field. When the ball was picked up by Clinton Hart, they all followed him. They all followed him down the field. The rolling on the field is a catch, fumble recovered by the defense, returned to this point at the 48 yard line. It is illegal to advance the ball unless the fumbling player advances it himself. We'll bring it back to this spot. First down. Okay, so they could not advance the ball. The recovery that Clinton Hart came up with must stop at that point. It could not be advanced by anybody other than Roderick Hood. That's the old Dave Casper right. ruling. Casper throwing the ball into the end zone, fumbling the ball forward. But Roderick Hood happened to be there on the spot Picking up that fumbled football by Shaw. Shaw catches the football and he makes nice moves down the field. Yeah, but it was a great play by Michael Lewis to play it. Michael three. Lewis pulling the ball out. And Roderick Hood, Johnny on the spot this time. At any rate, the Eagles have the football. They will review that inside the two minutes. The coaches cannot request a review. It's strictly in the hands of the officials. And I have a feeling that this is going to be right where it is. There's a timeout on the field with the score. The Eagles 10, the Bills nothing on the Eagles radio network. 94 WYSP. Jody Mack here for my good friends at Potemkin Springfield Auto World. At Potemkin, every new Toyota, Hyundai, Chrysler, and Jeep comes with a lifetime warranty on the drivetrain. Potemkin also includes lifetime roadside assistance with their own road crews. My friend Tom Moore Potemkin even includes $1,500 in service discounts on every new Toyota, Hyundai, Chrysler, Jeep that they sell. Potemkin is changing the way new cars are sold in the Delaware Valley. Visit Potemkin Springfield Auto World on Baltimore Pike and tell them Jody Mack sent you. 
Now that you're permitted to bring hoagies in... Now, we knew before they were reviewing it, but now they're reviewing it again. Well, I think the original ruling of a catch, a fumble, a return, a fumble, and a recovery by the Eagles is correct. Well, we know they don't always get it right. Now, looking at the replay, and, and we're watching it right now, Shaw is up, trying to make moves. On his way down, the ball comes out. Now, does that right knee hit the turf before the ball comes out? That's the big question. I don't think so. And I don't think so. And I don't think it's conclusive enough for them to overturn this call. I don't think so either. I don't think so at all. And the Eagles got the got a bad ruling earlier. They should have had a fumble and a recovery and a touchdown by Michael Lewis. The Eagles are now waving their hands. They're pretty confident. Matapkin, Springfield Auto World, changing the way the Delaware Valley buys cars. Well, the, the crowd went in an uproar when the official came on the PA system and said that we're reviewing the play to see if, in fact, the receiver fumbled the football. I think, in fact, he did. And you agree? I totally agree. Eagles up 10-0, 142 until halftime. But what's your theory on when he take a long time with this? Because you do have a theory on that. Yeah, when they take a long time, it is often changed. That is usually when it's reversed. If they are clear about it, they take less time. Play, it's been determined that the receiver number 81 fumbled the ball before his right knee hit the ground. Okay, Therefore, good call. there's a fumble. A legal recovery by the defense and advance to the 50-yard line. Philadelphia will take over first and 10 at the 50 due to the fact his teammates cannot recover a fumble forward under two minutes. That's correct. That's correct. It can be recovered, but not in advance by Clinton Hart. It was Roderick Hood who was stripped of the ball, and I'm sure he'll get a lecture about coming up with fumbles and then protecting the ball. At any rate, the Eagles have the ball at midfield with 1.42 to play in the half and a 10 nothing lead. How about if they go downtown again to Freddie Mitchell? That, that would, it, I like the call, Coach. Force him to go to the zone, put Freddie in the slot, and send him down the middle again. L.J. Smith is in the game. Back goes McNabb's short drop. He is hit. He gets free. Steps over a man, dives down across the 45, down to the 42-yard line. With all that, McNabb manages to run for seven yards before he is brought down by Pat Williams. And a very important element in this Eagles offense, not to be overlooked, Donovan at times has to run the football to keep this offense alive and to avoid being sacked when he doesn't like what he sees down the field. They go with a double wing. Empty backfield. Freddie Mitchell on the near side slot. Quick motion. Handoff goes inside and nothing there as they went to Brian Westbrook as a receiver around. And they gave it to Westbrook and he ran into a wall. Here's Juan Winfield into the stop. Lost a three on the play. Eagles take their last time out. Philadelphia. That's the team's third and final timeout. 30 second timeout. 30 second timeout. 57 seconds to play in the half. That one didn't work. <laughs> you see it didn't work? Well, this is a case where Anton Winfield comes into the game and he just realizes the play. He recognizes the play right away. And when Westbrook gets the football, Winfield gets right up into the gap and makes the stop before the play can even take off. I still like my go deep to Freddie call. I'm with you, coach. I like that. 57 seconds to go here in the first half. 10-0 Eagles. Well, the, the Bills are playing probably a little more too deep than they like to play, although they're playing more too deep since Dick LeBeau has come in. They have that too deep zone blitzing thing going on, but with that too deep coverage, you want to get a fast guy down the hole. They're set up for it right now. Slot to the far side. Backs in an open set. Ball at the 45. Back goes McNabb. Stepping up, letting it go. Complete to Mitchell down at the 30-yard line for a first down. 
Well, he didn't go deep to Freddie, but deep enough for a first down to keep it going with a 15-yard gain. And McNabb is pointing at the Bills, and they're going to get a penalty against the Bills. Well, the official sets the ball and does not allow the Bills time to get back on their side of the line of scrimmage. And Donovan smartly gets his guys up, gets the ball snapped before they can get back on side. 43 seconds, Mike, remaining in the half. And at the very least... Offside, defense, number 94. And it also Five stops the clock. First down. It would be big for the Eagles to get a touchdown right here. Because a field goal would still keep them within two touchdowns no, of the Bills. No, a touchdown would be way big right here. Here we go. Eagles moving left to right. 42 seconds to go here in the first half. Birds up, 10 up, and what more? Pinkston and Crash to the far side. Westbrook the single setback. Mitchell to the near side of the right. Pinkston in motion. Back goes McNabb. He's looking, he's looking, he throws. He's got Freddie Mitchell again. Diving and rolling, did not get out of bounds, but has a first down at the 15, or the 16. Well, Freddie does a nice job of avoiding the traffic on the inside. McNabb will spike it to kill the clock with 24 seconds. Yeah. He avoids the traffic on the inside, then he gradually starts moving up the field. Donovan looks downfield and then comes back to Freddie. Very nice progression in his, in, progression in his reads. Comes back to Freddie and keeps it alive. Freddie worked very, very hard this entire offseason and has looked good in training camp and in the preseason and in the practices. And now he is starting to make significant plays. He lines up in the near side slot. Second and ten at the Bills 16. McNabb short drop, pump, look, goes for the end zone, incomplete wide of Todd Pinkston. 19 seconds remaining in the half. Nate Clemens in coverage, and he is a very, very good one. Well, he's already got three picks in their first three games, but Todd Pinkston working over Clemens on the outside, runs a little slant and then back to the corner. Clemens doesn't really bite on it, but Donovan's going to throw it out there anyway and allow Pinkston to make a play. I like that philosophy. I like that thinking. The Eagles have no timeouts for Maynard. Pinkston and Mitchell on the far side with Mitchell on the slot. Flash to the near side. Westbrook the single setback. McNabb pumps once. Look. Fires for the end zone. Incomplete. In the direction of Thrash, he was the intended receiver. He was well covered by Kevin Thomas, and the field goal unit comes on with 13 seconds remaining. We don't get the touchdown here, but in this first half, you see a different McNabb. He's playing the way that we've seen him play and be effective, be successful in the past. Outstanding throwing the football and managing this offense. And I'll tell you what, the defense hasn't done badly. Here is Akers. The ball is spotted. The kick is up, and the kick is good. And Akers has another one. He's three for three. That one, 36 yards. With nine seconds remaining in the half, the Eagles are up 13 to nothing. Eagles football brought going to try and exploit this secondary. They haven't done bad. They've done a very nice job of keeping these guys out of the end zone. Even when they're, the Bills start to move the ball, they force turnovers. Turnovers, a big key in this football game. Here is the kickoff by Akers. It is high. It is not deep. Taken at the 5 by Antonio Brown to the 10, 15, 20 to the 25. And five seconds remaining as he is parked right there after a 20-yard return. Good coverage by John Harbaugh's special team. Penalty, one of the Eagles is shaken up. Looks like Keith Adams. Keith Adams shaken up. Time out on the field with the score. The Eagles 13, the Bills nothing, and the Eagles radio network. 94 WYSP. September is your last chance. One last chance to grab a 2003 Dodge in stock with our best deals, like generous cash allowances or 0% APR financing. Plus, you'll get Dodge's fully transferable 7-year or 70,000-mile powertrain limited warranty. Let us prove we've got the best values in America. See your Dodge dealer today.
How about some sparklers? No. Meineke can even handle your mileage maintenance schedules. So for work backed by a nationwide warranty, visit Meineke.com for a location near you. Meineke Car Care Center. Right service, right price. When it comes to selection, value, and service, there's no better place than your local T3 certified Michelin and BF Goodrich retailer. With over 20 locations in the area, they're ready to help Eagle fans find the right tire no matter what you drive. And with brands like Michelin and BF Goodrich, you'll find a great value from a name you can trust. In Philadelphia, visit Allen Tire and Service on Rising Sun Avenue or Allen Tire and Service on Harborson Avenue. Old former Patriots Adams family. And the Bills kneel down to the displeasure of their fans. And the first half comes to a close. Eagles football brought to you by Chrysler Jeep. The official SUV minivan and car of the Philadelphia Eagles. There's the end of the first half of the score. The Eagles 13. The Buffalo Bills nothing on the Eagles radio network. 94 WYSP. If I were you, Joe, I'd have a seat. Oh, jeez. How, how bad is it, Doc? Well, it's awful. Terrible. I can't believe you've lived this long. Grim Reaper, meet Joe. Joe, meet the Grim Reaper. Let me put it another way. You've made a down payment on the farm. You have left the building, my friend. Oh, your check has cleared. Your train is pulling into the station. Woo-hoo! When the minimum is all you really want, call 1-800-SAFE-AUTO for car insurance. Minimum coverage for minimum budgets. El Bonito. We've been reminding you to change your blades on Monday, so have you been doing it? Uh, yeah. Hey, I just flew to Asia, and I went through another time zone. Plus, I, I still have an uncomfortable feeling. This game is a long way to go. Oh, sure. I got to know Keith Adams is out of the game with a concussion, and that's what we thought when, we, when he walked off the field, but now we have the official word. He's out with a concussion. And uh, Troy Benson is still out with the hamstring. With the hamstring. So these young boys are going to have to just keep doing it. And they've done a, a very good job here in the first half, and they have to continue to play well. One of the, the thing that, that made this thing work, because the Bills have started to move the ball some, but they've created turnovers. Turnovers are a big part of the football game and why the Eagles are still on top. The second half kickoff brought to you by Delaware Valley Mercedes-Benz dealers. Look for the opening kickoff sweepstakes in the Inquirer or Daily News. And you can win a new Mercedes-Benz C230 Sports Sedan. Acres to kick off to the Bills to begin the second half. Eagles moving from our left to right. And the rain that was threatening as the game began seems to no longer be a threat as there really are nothing but a few puffy white clouds and a beautiful blue sky. And, and I don't know, you know, I, I think it's like that movie Space Jam where something got into the player's body. Well, I don't know what got into the player's body in game one and two, but you see a different energy in this offense. You see a different Donovan McNabb, and he's really working this offense. Mike, in the third quarter, the Redskins leading the Patriots 13 to 3. Minnesota 28, 49ers nothing. St. Louis 20 to 7 over Arizona. Tennessee leading Pittsburgh 16 13. Cincinnati and Cleveland 14 14. Let me tell you something, Marvin Lewis is going to make those Cincinnati Bengals competitive yet. Houston 14 to 10 over Jacksonville. Here is Akers' kickoff. It is a line drive, and it is taken by Antonio Brown at the goal line. After the 5, the 10, 15, 20. Cuts to his right at the 25, and is tripped up by Ike Reese at the 28. Oh, he's scary. Antonio Brown can run the football and make people miss. He's a rookie, but this guy is going to cause some problems in this league. The rookie out of West Virginia. It is first and ten. Ball up at the 28-yard line for the Bills. Eagles up 13 to nothing. Bills come right out with a three-wide receiver set. Single setback, and Joe Burns. Ball up at the 28. Bledsoe tightens the formation by moving Mould two steps to his right. Back goes Bledsoe. Eagles offside. Bledsoe hit as he throws it incomplete. I think the Eagles were across the line of scrimmage a second before the snap. Yeah, I think Bledsoe is going to get a free play here. You got Big Hollis and Thomas and, and Corey Simon in there at the tackle spots now. Indy Kalu on the outside. MC Kalu along with Darwin Walker on the outside. And 
with these four guys, they should be able to put some pressure on Bledsoe, take some of the heat off of those young guys in the secondary. Now it'll be first down and five, and they bring in Sam Gash and put their backs into an eye over formation. But Gash to the right, closer to the line of scrimmage. The handoff goes to Burns. Burns has yardage up to about the 35. That's it. Pick up on the play of about three, two and a half or three. Ken Simonton in the game. Now, Ken Simonton was play offensive player of the year in NFL Europe, and he was just activated yesterday. He's in the game now. Activated from their practice squad. From their practice squad. And not expected to do a whole lot, but, you know, when you're down your first two running backs, you're going to play any healthy body that you have. It is second down and three. Simonton, the single setback. To give again to Simonton, and this time he doesn't move the pile far. He gets Simonton maybe a yard, maybe a yard and a half. It'll be third down and about two. Gain of one. Third down, two. Bills moving right to left in their steel blue uniforms. Joe Burns comes back in. Ball up at the Bills 36 and a half yard line. It's time to go with the three wide receivers. Slot to the far side. The dangerous Eric Moles to the near side. Bledsoe rolls out. Throws on the run off the hands of Bobby Shaw. Bledsoe had his receiver open for a first down, but gunned it with too much velocity and a little too high, and the Bills will have to punt. Well, that'll get you some booze, but they had what they wanted. They roll out Bledsoe to the right a little bit. He's got Shaw, and Shaw is wide open. But he throws that thing a little bit high. Now, uh, Shaw, an athletic receiver, you, you need to jump up and make that catch. The ball goes off of his fingertips, and now they're forced to punt. Here is Brian Mormon, who's been averaging over 50 yards a punt. To punt to Brian Westbrook, standing at his own 16. The punt is away. This is a high spiral. Coming up and calling for a fair catch is Westbrook, who looked very, very comfortable as he called for the fair catch and then just looked it into his hand. There's a timeout on the field with the score. 13 nothing Eagles on the Eagles radio network. 94 the Sure. 13 20 to play here in the third quarter. Eagles offense now on the field with Buckholder as the tailback. Double tight end. First and 10 at their 17. The give us to Buckholder and he gets nothing. Ooh. Nothing as Pat Williams hugs him at the line of scrimmage and then pushes him backwards three yards. He's running into 320 pounds of Pat Williams. That'll get you nowhere. Second down, 11. And that's where he went. Pat Williams just gave him a big hug. Buck gets the ball and he tries to cut back against the grain and he runs right square into Pat Williams. What grain? <laughs> now Richie has lined up way to the right. It is second and 11. McNabb with a short drop, lets it go, and it is incomplete as it bounced into the hands of Todd Pinkston. But did he have it? Yes, he did. They say he did have it. One official started to go no, but he did have it. No, Pinkston pulled that thing off of his socks. You know, it's a well-timed route. The timing on this route does not allow the defensive back to even make a play on the ball. Before Pinkston can get out of his break, Donovan has that ball in the air. Pinkston reaches back and makes the reception. Eagles with four receivers. And his third down and five at the 21. McNabb back. Has time. Fires incomplete. Intended for Billy McMullen, but it was knocked down at the line of scrimmage. It was knocked down by Takeo Spikes. He had the receiver. He had the time. But Spikes got his hands in the path of the ball. Well, what Spikes does is he drops back. He's trying to find the passing lane, and he does. He gets right into the passing lane, gets his hands up, and bats the ball away. And the punt. It's high. It's a wobbler. Johnson punting. Brown returning. He's at the 30. And he is going to be snowed under as he gave ground back to the 28. Good punch. 52-yard punch. 52-yard punch by Dirk Johnson. 
This time out brought to you by Mike Piazza, Honda, and Langhorn, where you'll always catch a great deal. Is number one rock station, 94 YSP. 12.04 remaining in the third quarter. It is still 13-0 Eagles, but not an encouraging offensive series if the birds go one, two, three, and out. Now it's Buffalo's turn, beginning their drive at their own 29-yard line. Empty backfield. Tight end Campbell, a receiver to the left. Three to the left, two to the right, and the Eagles can charge it offside. Bledsoe fires, and this will be low dead. And it looked like Hollis Thomas in the Bills' backfield. Fire the snap. Ball starts. Number 81. Offense. Five-yard penalty. Let's go first down. We got the offense to move it. How about that? Now, Big Hollis is in his stance, and he leans forward, and it's hard to stop when you got 300 pounds leaning forward. But they, they said it is Bobby Shaw who moves on the outside just prior to the snap. Dota's first down and 15 as the Bills make it a little more difficult, and now Bledsoe goes into a shotgun. Two receivers to his right. Shaw comes out of a slot in motion to the left. Bledsoe takes the deep snap. He's looking, he fires, he's got Moulds over the middle across the 30 to the 32 with Sheldon Brown makes the stop, picks up eight yards, so he gets half of it back. But they're leaving a lot of the middle open. When the, when the Eagles blitz, or when the Bills come out with an extra receiver, there's a lot of space on the inside, and that's what the, the Bills are exploiting. They're getting Moulds across, crossing the field, Shaw crossing the field and getting them the football. Three receivers, no shotgun. It'll be second down and seven at the Bills 32. Again, a single setback. Bold on the far side, but the pass goes to Campbell, and Campbell has the ball knocked away. And penalty flag thrown as Bledsoe let it go. And let's see, is it roughing the passer? Bledsoe let it go. Eagles is saying it's against the Bills. Eagles are anticipating, I think, a holding call against Buffalo. It is on the Bills. Outstanding play down the field by Lito Shepard. Now, Bledsoe tries to quickly throw that fade route. Shot clock. Number 35. Offense. They call it... The calling Joe Burns for chop blocking on Corey Simon is, is the call, but an outstanding play on the outside by the young Lito Shepard running stride for stride with the receiver and then getting his hand up just in time to bat the ball away. The receiver in that case was the tight end, Mark Campbell. So now the Bills have a second down and 22 from their 18. And now they go shotgun again. Three receivers slot to the near side of the field. Back goes Bledsoe. He steps up. He fires. A strike. Great throw by Bledsoe to Eric Moles up at the 35-yard line. Short of the first down. But Bledsoe starting to get his rhythm. And that is something to worry about. And once again, a lot of room in the middle of the football field. Between the hashes, between the numbers, that's where they're throwing the football. Nobody home. No linebackers there. No safeties coming up. They're getting the shots. They're, they're taking their shots right in the middle of the field. Eagles up. 13-0. 10-48 remaining here in the third quarter. Three receivers. Shotgun. Third and four for the Bills. Back goes Bledsoe. He pumps. He's looking. The ball is knocked loose. And let's see. I don't know. Do the Eagles have it? Ball fumbled again, but recovered by the Bills. Flopping on the ball was Trey Teague, the center. Knocked by Sheldon Brown. He knocked it away from Bledsoe, coming on the blitz. And that's the key. Just get to Bledsoe. He has to pump fake the ball because of the coverage downfield. It gives Sheldon Brown time to get to him and bat the ball out. Here is Brian Mormon to punt. Brian Westbrook to return. Standing back at his 20. Westbrook looked very comfortable handling that last punt. This is a wobble. There will be a return. Caught by Westbrook, but he cannot get away. Tackled immediately at the 25-yard line by Josh Stamer. 
Eagles football brought to you by Chrysler Jeep, the official SUV minivan and car of the Philadelphia Eagles. I'm out on the field with the score. Birds still up 13 0 on the Eagles radio network, 94 WYSP. <laughs> Oh, when they say it's crunch time, they're not kidding. This is Mike Quick, and I'm here with Ed Hurd for her snacks. Ed, what are your thoughts on the game so far? I got to tell you, Mike, picking my team is easy. It's picking my favorite Hearst chip. Now, that's hard. Ed, that's easy for me. I think they all taste great. Yeah, you're right, Mike. That's why Hers is Philly's favorite. Well, Ed, when it comes to my town, my team, my chip, it's got to be hers. Be sure to stock up for the game and make hers yours. Pro Football Hall of Famer Coach Mike Ditka. If you value your health like I do, take action and take care of yourself. Because if you work at staying healthy, you can work at staying in the game. See your doctor and check out Tackling Men's Health for information, tips, and tools that guys can really use. Make good health your game plan. I did. Get your free Tackling Men's Health playbook. Call 1-866-NFL-HEALTH or visit TacklingMensHealth.com. Each season, the Philadelphia Eagles bring to the game of football a sense of elegance and precision performance. They continually raise the bar for innovation and exhilaration. This is an organization with standards of excellence rivaled only by those of Mercedes-Benz. That's why Mercedes-Benz is the official luxury vehicle of your Philadelphia Eagles. Visit your local Delaware Valley Mercedes-Benz dealer for a test drive today. You're listening to the official home of the Eagles in stereo. 94 WYSP. Philadelphia. 9.50 to go here in the third quarter. Eagles on top, 13-0. Eagles with the football first and 10. The ball on their own 26-yard line moving left to right. Very balanced offense. The first half of this football game, the Eagles had seven rushes, seven passes. McNabb right now, 12 of 19 for 121 yards throwing the football. I'll tell you, this Eagles defense is playing well today. They are really playing well. And under adverse conditions. Single set back to Deuce Daly. Back goes McNabb. He fires wide of James Thrash. Incomplete. McNabb and Thrash not on the same play, on the same uh, page. Thrash looking over his right shoulder, and the ball came behind him. Well, McNabb, after throwing the ball, starts shaking his hand, and he said, it's my fault. He, it's that timing route, that little quick out to Thrash, but the ball somehow comes off of his hand wrong and not where he wants to put the ball. Westbrook now in the backfield. Three receivers slot to the far side of McNabb's left. Ball at the 26. The give is to Westbrook. He runs straight to the left and then tries to cut it back and gets only about a yard. Brian Westbrook, at the ball carrier. Maybe a yard. He's probably better off not cutting back, just trying to stay to the outside and, and beat the guys to the outside. But he tries to cut back and he just runs into more headings. It'll be third down and about eight. The line of scrimmage for 28 and a half. But crowd making it tough. Here is an important third and eight. Three receivers. Freddie Mitchell in motion. Back goes McNabb. He pumps. He fires the thrash. He turns inside, makes the catch, leaves his man, and takes it up to the 45 for a first down. Great play by James Thrash, who caught a short pass, wheeled away from Antoine Winfield, and turned it into a 17-yard no, game. Thrash really makes this play. I mean, it's a great call because you got a little congestion there, but he runs away from Clemens and does the awareness when he catches the football he knows that he's got clemens on his back he spins away from him heads upfield north south and picks up the first down and more now staley in the backfield first and ten at the 45 this one is blown dead it's going to be against the eagles illegal procedure but just great awareness by james stretch that's the that, old yak yes guards that, have to catch exactly Still first down. One of the nice things that they do, some of these bunch routes or routes where guys lining up close to one another coming off the line of scrimmage, it'll sometimes confuse the defense. 
It gives Thrash just enough space to get away from Clemens, and then he realizes where Clemens is and gets rid of him when he goes upfield. First and 15, slot to the far side of the field. Westbrook, the single setback, takes the handoff, cuts back across the 40, and takes it up to the 46. They were in a first and 15, and that will put them in a second down and about nine. Lawyer Malloy and Sam Adams in on the stop. Westbrook's just showing that burst. You know, he's a little guy, and when he takes off, he can run right by those big bodies, given a little daylight. He leaves, Staley comes in. Double tight end. Single setback. Second to nine. Back goes McNabb. He has time. He fires incomplete, but a penalty flag thrown. Let's see who this one's against. Thrown downfield. Pass intended, I think, for Pinkston, but it didn't come close. It's against the Patriots. Uh, against the Bills. That'd be a trick. Charge it to the Patriots. <laughs> yeah, that was a couple weeks ago. But I, I, it, once again, Todd Pinkston is starting to get respect in the National Football League. When I talked to the Bills defensive coordinator, that's the first name that he mentioned, Todd Pinkston. And guys are starting to fear him. Getting their hands in the face, just trying to do things to disrupt Pinkston, throw him off of his game. First and ten at midfield. The give this time is the buckholder. Breaks one tackle. Two on his feet at the 40. Down to the 35. Terrell Buckholder with the kind of running you expected from him. Just give the guy the football and let these big guys up front clear the way for him. Doesn't need a lot of space. Very good job by Jermaine Mayberry turning that play. You know, when, when the running back sees the body turn of his offensive line, he knows he's got a nice wall. And Buckhalter runs right off through the tail of Jermaine Mayberry and to daylight. 6.47 to play here in the third quarter. Now Staley back in. Double tight end. Motion, thrash, right to left. The give this time to Staley. And Staley stacked up after a gain of about a yard. Bill's defense tightens right there. That'll be second down and eight. Second down and eight. You want to get three or four at least on that first down to set the rest of the things up. I'm still looking for Freddie Mitchell to get back in this offense. The different packages, all of this platooning guys on and off of the field. Westbrook, the single setback, three wide receivers. Mitchell lines up on the far side slot. Ball at the Bills, 38. Quick catch out to Pinkston. He leaps. Comes down with the football, doesn't have much running room, but just lowers his head and picks up an additional two or three yards. Good play by Pinkston. But realize he didn't have anything. Gets a stiff arm going and then he sees that pursuit coming from the inside, so he just lowers his head and picks up the three or four yards that he can get and go back to play again. They are now in a third down and four. And even if they fail, a David Akers field goal here would be very big. McNabb sets up with Freddie Mitchell in the backfield, along with Westbrook. Now Mitchell leaves and goes in motion. McNabb back over the middle to Mitchell, who makes the catch. Penalty flag is thrown as Mitchell catches it, is hit immediately short of the first down, but there's a penalty against the Bills. Holding time on the, the defense. defense. Time for the Deets and Watson scoreboard. Here's John Russell. Wild special team action in St. Louis, Merrill. Arizona's Josh Scobie, a 100-yard kick return for a touchdown. The two-point conversion attempt failed. Rams leading the cards 23-13. Three field goals for Jeff Wilkins, 24, 31, and 53 yards. Meanwhile, in Minneapolis, three touchdown passes for Gus Farratt, including two to Randy Moss, part of a 28-0 lead over San Francisco. Scoreboard brought to you by Deets and Watson, the official Frank of the Eagles and Lincoln Financial Field. First and ten for the Eagles, driving in Bills territory at the 24. Backs in the eye. Buckhorn, the tailback. 
Receivers split to the far side. Play action. McNabb is back. He's been chased. He's going to run. He's at the 20, and he dives down to the 16. McNabb, on the keeper. McNabb running that time, and London, London Fletcher, Fletcher tracks him down, but not before he picks up eight yards. This He'll offense is coming to life. Second down. And it comes to life when you're running the football effectively, and they are. When you're on the mark throwing the football, Donovan is. And then now, Donovan with space to room with the football, not hesitating, but taking off and making a play. It is second down and two. Ball at the 16. Crash in motion. Takes the end around. The handoff goes inside the buck holder, who has stacked up apparently a yard shy of the first down. They ran the ghost end around, gave it to Buckholder, who took it to the 15, needed to get to the 14. But they really need to give the Bills some credit for, the Eagles need to give the Bills some credit for all of the, all the success that they're having, because the Bills keep hurting themselves with penalties. Mayberry is shaken up, he comes out. Here is an awfully big third down. Third and a yard. Bobby Williams comes in for Mayberry, and the Eagles are going to take a timeout. This is a good time for a timeout. It's a big play, and they want to make sure that everything is right. Timeout on the field with the score. The Eagles 13, the Bills nothing, and the Eagles radio network. 94 the WYSP. You don't have to be in the pros to play games at Dave & Buster's. Their interactive simulators are fit for everyone. They also score points by having an amazing restaurant, serving tempting entrees like Jack Daniels barbecued ribs. And with a full complement of beer, wine, and spirits behind their world-class bar, it's easy to see why Dave & Buster's has so many fans. For some serious food and outrageous fun, visit Dave & Buster's, located at Pier 19 North on Columbus Boulevard. How is it that the Mercedes-Benz C-Class with optional 4-matic all-wheel drive makes rainy days, snowy days, really any day, feel like such a beautiful day? It's because 4-matic all-wheel drive is always on, monitoring wheel slip and transferring power for added traction. So it will help you grip the road in most any condition. And considering 4-matic is available on the affordable C240 for an additional $1,200, including heated front seats, you can comfortably drive on most any road, whatever the season. So the next time you're caught out in... You'll be happy you came in for that test drive. For every season, there's 4MATIC all-wheel drive, available on the Mercedes C240 sedan starting at 33480 Control, unlike any other. MSRP excludes all options, taxes, title, registration, and dealer prep. Options, model availability, and actual dealer price may vary. Best performance on snow and ice obtained with winter tires. See dealer for details. Visit your local Delaware Valley Mercedes-Benz dealer for a test drive today. Mercedes-Benz, the official luxury car of the Philadelphia Eagles. Be sure to pick up copies of tomorrow's Philadelphia Inquirer and Daily News for special coverage of today's Eagles game. Howard Stern mornings and 40-minute nonstop rock blocks all day. YSP rocks. Carol Reese, Mike Quick. Back at Ralph Wilson Stadium. 3.35 remaining in the third quarter. Eagles up by the same score they led by at halftime, 13 to nothing. But they have a third and a yard, and the ball on the Buffalo Bills' 15-yard line. Westbrook, the single center. Three wide receivers. Third and a yard. McNabb sneaks, and I think he has it. McNabb just wedges his way forward, and I believe he has it, Mike. And I think you're right. On the snap of the ball, Donovan goes forward and to his right just a little bit, getting right in behind big Bobby Williams, who just comes into the football game. These guys, they're big bodies. They should be able to push forward for enough to get one yard. And that's where those 240 pounds of McNabb come into use. Under three minutes to play in the third quarter, and the Eagles on a fresh set of downs at the Bills, 13 and a half. 240 of McNabb, 320 of Bobby Williams. Yeah, I think you can get a first down with that when you only need one yard. The lights are on. The sunlight is fading. First and ten. Westbrook in motion. Empty backfield. Back goes McNabb. He's looking. He fires. He completes it. Westbrook inside the 10 and down to the 8. Westbrook, a very skilled receiver. Pick up on the play of 5 yards. Maybe 6. 
And Claude Rosefield makes the stop. And Freddie's saying, I'm open. Freddie runs a little route and he goes down the sideline and Donovan chooses to go to the inside to Westbrook, but Freddie gets open just after the throw. He doesn't realize that the throw is what really brings him open. Second and five. Slot to the near side. Westbrook the single setback. McNabb on a draw. Quarterback draw at the five and Cartfield at the three. McNabb on the designed quarterback draw. Took it very close to another first down. He may be a little bit short. Looks like he's a half yard short, Mike. Well, you're right. It's a design and a called quarterback draw. And this is the timing for it when you're down close with the speed defense. But London Fletcher plays this thing perfectly, stays home, gets up, and takes out the legs of Donovan. It's going to be third down at a yard. They're going to bring in the chains. I thought it was a bit short. They got a pretty good spot. I could be wrong. But I thought they were a little bit short. Just they are. short. They are just inches short. But again, you got these big bodies. Take advantage of these big bodies. Allow these guys to do what they like to do. They like to get into a brawl. John Runyon, he loves a good fight. Let him fight. John says the thing that he likes to do most is slam into a guy and get his hands on him and just wrestle him down. It's third and a half yard, and I think McNabb is unstoppable on a quarterback sneak right here. I know, he that's is, your favorite play. I know. He has Richie and Staley behind them. Now Staley goes in motion as McNabb sneaks and backs his way forward, and I think he picks it up. Now I don't the Bills know. push him back, but it, it's forward progress, and I thought he had enough forward thrust, but I don't know. Let's see how they spot the football. Well, they loosen up the defense. When Deuce comes out of the backfield and he sprints out, goes in motion to the outside, it loosens up the defense. You can see the linebackers move. You can see the offense or the defensive line well, he doesn't just have shift, shift just slightly. He doesn't but have it where they put the football They right didn't there. move very much. I didn't see much movement at all. Defensive line, they wedge down to get real low, and if they get leverage, it's hard to move them. That is one of the few times they're going to go for the field goal. They're going to go for the field goal, and it's the right call. Well, you're, you're making a three-score game. You've got to score two touchdowns and then score at least once again. Ball is spotted. The kick by Akers is up, and the kick is good, and the Eagles do have a 16 to nothing lead. Brian McDonald's new Philly cheese bake today, made with juicy steak, sautéed onions, and melted American cheese on a warm baked roll at McDonald's. Time out on the field with the score. The Eagles up 16 to nothing on the Eagles radio network. 94 to be YSB. The King of Queens wife has big plans. We are doing this to remind you of our first date, where we went to second base. It'll be quite a night. Salsa dancing? It's got split my pants written all over it. And there's going to be more than one split. Hey, D, where's Kelly? Your wife. She left me. Took her clothes and the kids and just uh, skedaddled. Shocking news. I'm still getting over a black guy using the word skedaddled. Next time on The King of Queens. The King of Queens. Tomorrow night at 6 and 7 on UPN 57. What does it take to build a solid future with good pay and benefits? A career in masonry, working with brick, stone, tile, marble, terrazzo, plaster, cement, and restoration. And the best way to get started is to join the Bricklayers and Allied Craft Workers Union. They also provide free training at the International Masonry Institute, where you'll learn what it takes to be the best. If you want a solid career or the best contractors, call 1-800-JOBS-IMI. Brought to you by BAC Local 1 Philadelphia and the International Masonry Institute. Talking to an Allstate agent can really make a driver feel safe. When you call a local agent, you get a knowledgeable insurance agent who's there when you need help, whose name is in the same phone book as yours, who can see if you qualify for discounts or tell you what insurance on a new car will cost. Sure, lots of companies can sell you insurance, but no one has the people like Allstate. Allstate Insurance Company, Northbrook, Illinois. Call your local Allstate agent. You're in good hands with Allstate. Hey, it's Cousin Ed. YSP's got the most rock all day. With 40-minute non-stop rock blocks all day after Howard. YSP rocks. Eagles now up 16 to nothing. Those were three big points added by Akers. 
That 13 nothing made you very nervous. Of course, it, theoretically, Mike, it, it's a two-score game because the Bills could go 8-8. Eight eight. Well, if you're going to call a two-pointer, just an automatic score. It's not automatic. But, I mean, it's it's reachable with two touchdowns sure. and two two-point conversions. Here is the kickoff by Akers. It is coming down to Antonio Brown, one yard deep. Out across the 5, 10, 15. Does not reach the 20. Does not reach the 20. And that is some great special teams work. Sean Morey. Sean Morey oh, makes yeah. the stop. And this guy is so scary. You have to get down there and, and stop him before he gets his motor running. Penalty flag against the Eagles. Yeah, I think they're all sides on that on the kickoff. Offside on the kicking team. Number 59, five-yard penalty, wing kick. Well, they were down there pretty quickly. <laughs> Maybe that's why Justin Inner gets over the line of scrimmage bef before the, the ball is kicked. I think he left five minutes early. At any rate, 21 seconds to go here in the third quarter. Eagles added just three points in this quarter, but they are three very important points. But Antonio Brown, the, the rookie out of West Virginia, just blazing speed. He has that. And he's not shy about just running full speed up into that pile. Well, Eagles just have to go back and do it one more time. And they are without Keith Adams, one of their best cover guys. He had a concussion. Eagles defense has been outstanding today. Akers to kick off from the 25. This one is away and it is coming down. And this time it is taken by Terrence McGee. McGee across the 15, 20, 25, 30. So the Bills pick up a good 12 yards on that re kick. Well, the Eagles are going to be tested once again in the depth category. Jermaine Mayberry's return is questionable. He has a left elbow spring. Takes over first and 10 from their 30-yard line. 15 seconds to go here in the third quarter. Bills first and 10 at their 30. Bledsoe in an empty backfield. Three receivers to the left. Two to the right, including running back Joe Burns. Bledsoe's back. He's lucky. He has it deflected. And it is incomplete. Knocked into the air, I think, by Corey Simon. Incomplete. Well, the, the, the nice thing is they're pushing that offensive line back. They're getting close to Bledsoe, getting an opportunity to punch the football. Now they're going without a huddle to try and keep the, the nickel and dime back off of the field. On second down, Bledsoe goes back again. He's looking, he loads up, he fires complete on the far sideline to Molds and makes a great catch. And then is knocked out of bounds very quickly by Sheldon Brown. Two yards shy of a first down. Stopping the clock with six seconds remaining in the third quarter. Now they'll wind it down. And that will take us through the third quarter. And that's it. The end of the third quarter at the score. The Eagles 16, the Bills nothing of the Eagles radio network. 94 WYSP. We'll be back with more music, but first a look at weather. Here's meteorologist Tom Sparks. Uh, thanks, Chad. There's a front moving in from the south, which is going to mix with warm air, giving us the distinct possibility for showers over the next few days. Uh, In fact, some of them are going to be big soakers, let me tell you. However, if you're planning any outdoor activities for the weekend... They to be stingy. They have to continue to force turnovers. Bledsoe is going to throw a few of them up there. they got to get to him, force him to throw the football when he doesn't want to throw the football, and then they... These guys in the secondary got to make some interceptions. And some more shotgun. turnovers. Three receivers. Burns standing to his left. Bledsoe takes the deep snap. He's back. He pumped. He looks. He is going deep. And the pass is incomplete intended for tight end Mark Campbell. And the fans don't like the call. Michael Lewis staying with the tight end all the way. And I would doubt that that was his primary target. And when you're Jim Johnson, you like that matchup. You got Michael Lewis, a safety that can really run, and especially with a tight end. 
you got him matched up down the field with Mark Campbell, a big tight end, and he, win, he wins the battle. Westbrook to return, Mormon to punt. Mormon back at his 24-yard line. Here is the punt. It's a line drive. Westbrook catches it on the run. He's across the 25, the 30. Dips his way to the 32 and then is thrown back. You know, John Harbaugh said it this week at his media briefing. He said, I'm not worried about Brian Westbrook. Despite the fact that he muffed one in the New England game, he said, I am feeling more and more comfortable with his ability to catch the ball because he is getting more and more ingrained into the NFL way of doing things. And you can see it, Mike. Right. There's That's no exactly tenderness. Right. That was going to be my point. If you watch him, you can see that he's getting more and more comfortable getting underneath those punts, catching the punts without the bobble that he had early on. Remember, he principally was not a punt returner at Villanova. Daly in the backfield, tail back in the eye, play action, McNabb back, fires out of the backfield and completes it over on the far side to John Ritchie, who gets his hands on the football for the first time and picks up about four. And he makes a nice adjustment catching that ball off of his back hip. John Ritchie, the first guy going through, McNabb gives him a little play fake action and then slips him the ball out into the flat. It is starting to rain. Boy, it was pure blue and now the clouds have rolled in and it is starting to rain perhaps symbolically for these Bills fans back from the eye it is second and six running play to Staley stacked up and thrown back or buckholder this time stacked up and thrown back at the line of scrimmage nothing there for buckholder no game Aaron Schobel makes the stop Brings up a third down and six. Bucket really nowhere to go. Nothing there. I mean, just a wall in front of him, and then Schobel comes down from his deep to end position and making the stop. Three receivers. Third and six. Westbrook the single setback. McNabb on a short drop. Looks, fires, incomplete. Off target intended for Freddie Mitchell. In coverage, Antoine Winfield. So the ball ends up hitting Winfield in the back. Yeah, that wasn't there. Freddie's trying to get away from him, and it's good coverage down the field. Winfield, the underneath coverage, and then you've got the safety on the deep coverage. So not much room for McNabb with the ball. Here is the punt by Dirk Johnson. That's a knuckler. It bounces and takes a Bills bounce back to the 33-yard line where it will be down. So the Bills with decent field position. Eagles leading in the game, 16 to nothing. With a timeout on the field with the score, Eagles 16, Bills nothing on the Eagles radio network. 94 WYSP. What a game this has been. You said it, Bob, and whoa, what is that on the field? Let's go down to the sidelines for a minute and find out more. Jim, guys, we heard about this in this... 16 to nothing as the rain is coming down. First and 10 for Buffalo. And I don't think that's good for Buffalo that the rain's coming down. We'll find out in a few seconds. Ball on their own, 33. Three receivers slot to the far side of the field. Reed in motion. Bledsoe with the deep snap. Fires high, incomplete. Looked like the ball slipped out of his hand, and it went soaring over the hands of Reed. It's that's complete. my point. I don't think that's good for the Bills that is starting to rain because they have to rely solely on throwing the football. They don't have a run game, missing Travis Henry, their best running back, a 1,400-yard rusher from last season. He's out. His backup, Sammy Morris, also out. And they obviously have no James Mundro. <laughs> it is second down and 10 for the Bills. This time up and under center. Three wide receivers, single setback, ball at the 33. Bledsoe retreats. He looks. He is firing deep. Caught by Eric Moulds. Is he inbounds? Yes. Up at the Eagles 45-yard line, a tremendous catch by the All-Pro. Knocked out by Sheldon Brown, but what a play by Moulds. Man, the guy can play the game. And if you're going to let him run around without banging into him, he's going to get open. Now, he runs a corner route, and Sheldon Brown is trailing him, but he makes an outstanding catch. And the throw, you got to love the throw by Drew Bledsoe. 
It is first and ten for the Bills in Eagles territory. This time a handoff underneath. And pushing his way forward inside the 40 down to the 37 is Joe Burns. Now the Bills are starting to threaten. Twelve and a half minutes to go in the fourth quarter. There's plenty of time. You throw the ball effectively, it opens up the draw. They run the draw to Burns with space. The seven yards. Second and three at the Eagles 37. Bledsoe under center. Bledsoe back. Looking, looking. He pumps, he fires. He can place it to Shaw. Shaw across the 25. Shaw down to the 22. And he holds on. The Bills are starting to feel that sense of urgency and they're starting to make plays. The big play to Moles. Now they're going without a huddle and starting to move the football against this Eagles young secondary. First and 10, ball on the Eagles 22. Lane continues to fall. Bledsoe back. He's pumping. He's going for the end zone. Incomplete. Catchable for Moulds, who appeared to mistime his jump, and the ball went by. Well, Sheldon Brown goes up, and maybe he interferes with the, the vision of the football for Eric Moles. But, yeah, I think this is a ball that Moles should catch. Or it's, yeah, Brown doesn't. He gets a hand up, and maybe he tips the ball, but it's one that Moles should have caught for the touchdown. Second and ten. Ball remains at the 22 of the Eagles. Eagles up 16 to nothing. Back goes Bledsoe. Pumps, fires, deflected and incomplete. It was deflected as he went over the middle. Incomplete. <laughs> deflected, I think, was intended for Mark Campbell. You know, they really have to look at the interior a little bit more. I just saw Indy Kalu get tackled on his way to the quarterback. Now, they're trying to get pressure on Bledsoe, and that's what they're going to have to do. But when Indy Kalu runs his move to the inside, he got completely tackled, and the official said nothing. It is third down and ten for the Bills. Clinton Hart got a hand on that football. Shotgun. Bledsoe back. He dumps the football off. Joe Byrne. Straight out the man at the 20. At the 15. At the 10. Down at the 8. The unlikely Joe Byrne. Hart makes the stop with Lito Shepard. But a smart play by the Bills. Well, it's right by the stunt. Indy Kalu stunting once again. Goes to the inside. Bledsoe flicks the ball to Burns just outside of where Indy had just left. And Burns catches the ball going across field and gradually gaining ground. Shaw and Lee to the far side. First and goal for the Bills from the Eagles' eight. Moles to the near side. Bledsoe back, puts it in the air, and throws it out of the end zone. Incomplete. He gauged his time, and then as the Eagles were arriving, he just threw it beyond Bobby Shaw. No chance. But once again, you look at the interior, you see these guys fighting to get off blocks, and then as soon as they get around, they're being held, they're being tackled, and eventually, they're going to back the Bills up if the Bills don't score because they are starting to get closer and closer to Drew Bledsoe. Reed to the near side, short of the far side slot. Single setback, Moe's wide left, back goes Bledsoe, pumps, Fires over the middle, completes to Mark Campbell, the tight end, and he is rolled down at the one. Mark Campbell, the tight end, rolled down at the one. Actually inside the one, and the Bills will have a third and goal from about the half-yard mark. Now, Eric Mose made the big play to start this drive, but the guy that's been making plays all day for Bledsoe has been this guy, big Mark Campbell, and he comes up with another one on a little slant route across the middle. And now they're very, very close to scoring. Backs of the eye. Nate Wayne saved the touchdown with the tackle. Backs of the eye. Third down. The give is to Burns, and he's not even close as the Eagles stack him up at the two and throw him back. Hollis Thomas with great, great penetration, shooting the gap and disrupting this play before it can start. Penetration can ruin an offensive play. That's what happens. Hollis Thomas with help from Corey Simon and friends. Bills are going to go for it. Nine and a half minutes remaining. I don't know. You, you could make a case for kicking for the three points right here 
and getting it back to a 13-point margin with plenty of time left. But they're going for it, and I can understand their reasoning. Three receivers, Bledsoe rolling, rolling, looking, pumping, firing, and it's a touchdown to Bobby Shaw. Bobby Shaw just inside the pylon made the catch. Just a little bit overmatched. They got Roderick Hood on Shaw in the slot. The outside receiver clears. Shaw just runs to that pylon. Bledsoe puts it on the numbers, and they score. And now, of course, they will go for two. Bobby Shaw just got in with Sheldon Brown on his back. That's just a good play by the Bills. It's a good play by the Bills. And, and you know, just a little bit overmatched. You know, you got Roger Hood, a guy who hasn't played much football, trying to stay with Bobby Shaw. They'll hold this up for a moment as a Bills fan comes out of Ooh. the field and then is tackled by a security guard. That's the Matt Bledahalo sales splatter of the game. That's the best tackle I've seen all day. Security guy, there's some knucklehead running down the field, down the Eagles sideline. Security guy catches him up by the shoulders and just slams him to the turf. <laughs> oh, that was nice. I'll tell you what, he did the Eagles a favor because it gives them more time to regroup for this defensive stand. Very big play, three wide receivers for the Bills, as you might expect. No shotgun. Slot to the near side, Mould to the far side. Bledsoe fires, and it is wide of Mould. Incomplete. And so, the Bills will stay with six points. 16 to six with a 10-point game. I don't think this is a gamble. I think this is playing to win the calls that the Bills just made. There's a timeout on the field with the score. The Eagles 16, the Bills 6 on the Eagles radio network. 2003 Smirnoff Ice Triple Black Premium Malt Beverage. The Smirnoff Company, Stanford, Connecticut. Be smart, drink responsibly. Hey, it's Cousin Ed. Check out YSB after Howard. Because the rock is non-stop. 40-minute non-stop rock blocks every hour, all day. YSB rocks. The Bills are finally on the scoreboard with 9-12 remaining in the fourth quarter. This is still a game. Eagles up 16 to 6. As the Bills failed on the two-point conversion attempt. And so they need at least two scores to at least time. Here is a kickoff by Lindell. It is high and end over end, and it is coming down to Westbrook at the two. And across the 5, 10, 15, 20, 25 breaks loose at the 30, up to the 35, penalty flags down, to the 40, 45, Lindell misses him at the 50, to the 40, to the 35, 30, and down to the 25, however, I am afraid it is coming back. It was exciting, but I think it is coming back, and it is. Illegal use of hands by the Eagles. Yeah, it's hard to get too excited when, when you see those flags coming out, but it's a great run by Westbrook, sticking his nose in there. It was on Quentin Michael. Back after this from Dodge, if you're not living life on the edge, you're taking up way too much space. Grab life by the horns, Dodge. 16 to 6. On 94 WYSP. Just under nine minutes remaining in the fourth quarter. Eagles lead the Bills 16 to 6. Eagles with a first and 10 on their own 20 yard line. This is where you'd like to see them really be able to run the football and grind the clock. Backs in the eye, they give us the buck holder, and he shut down after a pickup of a half yard. Yeah. Takeo Spikes just meeting Buckholder right at the point of attack and, and making the stop. But you're right. You want to see a six, seven minute drive here and take a lot of the time off the clock. You've got to be able to effectively run the football though. If you start off first and 10 and you only get one yard, it makes it a little more difficult. Staley in, Buckholder out, double tight end. Second and nine, slot to the far side. McNabb rolling right, looking right, 
fires the football and diving for it and making the catch is Todd Pinkston, two yards short of a first down. But you need a hush play. You need a play to quieten the crowd because the crowd, they're trying to shift that momentum, trying to pick up this Bills football team, and you need something that's going to quieten this crowd and make them go away. The lane has stopped. Third and three. Princeton has six receptions for 60 yards. Eagles with four receivers. Single setback. McNabb back. Looks. Pumps. Fires. And it is incomplete. It is broken up on the far side. Intended for thrash. Kevin Thomas went up and knocked it away. Great defensive play by the Bills Thomas. Well, and I think it was a poorly timed and judged play by Thrash on the outside. I think he jumped a little bit too early trying to make the play. If Penalty he... on the Eagles anyhow, but the Bills will decline it, forcing the Eagles to punt. But see, Mike, that series yeah, that's a big series. Less than a minute. That's a big series for the Bills. They, they take no time or very little time off the clock, and now the Eagles are going to give the ball right back to them. But the point on Thrash, I think he played that ball very poorly. It tries to allow the ball to come into his into his shoulder pads rather than reaching up and catching it at its highest point. Here's Dirk Johnson, the punt. Antonio Brown, the return. The punt is away. It's a deep spiral. Brown backs up, takes it, makes the first man miss. He takes off, but the second man gets him up at the 31-yard line. Buckholder down there in coverage, doing a very, very good job of tackling it. There's a timeout on the field with the score. The Eagles 16, the Bills 6. 7.25 remaining in the fourth quarter on Eagles Radio Network. 94 to be YSP. I'm here with George Foreman from Meineke. You've always trusted Meineke for mufflers, and now you can trust them to service a whole lot more. So the change... Here in the fourth quarter, Eagles up 16 to 6, but there is too much time on the clock. And the Bills, after forcing the Eagles to punt, have a first and 10 at their own 31-yard line. Stay tuned for the Andy Reid and Donovan McNabb press conferences after the game. Single setback is Joe Burns. Three wide receivers, no shotgun. Eagles fake the blitz. Are they coming? No. Back goes Bledsoe. Under a rush, he jumps it off to Burns. Across the 35, across the 40. He's got a first down at the 42. Joe Burns has suddenly come to life with two big plays in successive series. Well, they did come on the blitz, and the thing is, when they come, especially now, when the Bills are starting to get hot, they've got to hit home. They don't. He drops the ball off to Burns on the outside. The linebackers are already gone. They're trying to get to Bledsoe. It is first and ten up at the 42. Slot to the near side, long receiver to the far side. Bledsoe back again. He steps up. He's hit. They've got him back at the 35. The sack to Hollis Thomas. That's a big play. That's that a is big a play. big, big play. Could be the Matt Black auto sell splat of the game. Penalty against the Eagles downfield. That hurts. That, that hurts you in downfield. You've got a great play in the backfield, getting the sack, and downfield, you've got a holding on one of your guys, one of the guys in the secondary. I think it's Nate Wayne that they called the penalty on. At any rate, it is now first and ten for the Bills up at the 47, negating a big, big sack. Bledsoe fires over the middle, and it is incomplete. This time, blitzing was Nate Wayne arriving at Bledsoe as he let it go, and Bledsoe is shaking his hand. He hammered. I think, for Mark Campbell. He hammered Bledsoe. Now, he gets caught on the penalty. Maybe he gets ticked off a little bit. He comes cleanly, and he hammers Bledsoe. You know, it's trying to replay up the other sack, but Nate Wayne comes cleanly, and he hammers Bledsoe just as he's throwing the football. It is second and ten. The football remains at the... Bills 48 yard line. Bledsoe under center. Six and a half minutes to go in the fourth quarter. Eagles up 16 to 6. Back again goes Bledsoe under a rush. He's rolling. Penalty fly down as he fires incomplete. Let's see about this penalty. I think it's going to be holding against Buffalo. 
I think this has gone against the Bills. I agree, agree with you. And Indy Kalu gets up limping. That, that's not a good thing. It is. Now, if it's the Eagles, do you, do you take the penalty and give them the down over? And you're going to move them back. I don't think you have a choice. And they will. 16 to 6, Eagles, 622 remaining here in the fourth quarter. And the Bills will have a second down and 20. They have to get to the Eagles' 42-yard line for a first down. Again, no shotgun. Three receivers slot to the far side. Molds to the near side. Bledsoe rolls right. He steps up. Now he throws against the grain in the backfield to Mark Campbell, the tight end. And the Eagles are all over him. Roderick Hood came up and tackled the tight end. See, and now when Hollis Thomas got that sack, it was a four-man rush. They come with the four-man rush. Once again, they drop back in a two-deep zone coverage, freeing up the linebackers to then just run to the football on the throw. The linebackers, the cornerback, as soon as they see the play made, they run to the football and make the stop on the tight end. This is the biggest play for the Bills and for the Eagles' defense in this game. It is third and 17, shotgun, blood so back, steps up, fires, for a first down, but there's a penalty flag thrown. It was thrown. The pass completed the Moles at the Eagles 40. Let's see about the penalty. I think it's against the Eagles. And Bledsoe digs them out of it, holding against the Eagles. And a great throw by Bledsoe and a great catch by Moles. Great throw, great route by Eric Moles, getting too much space in that zone. Now, on the snap, Sheldon Brown tries to hold him up. The safety comes up, but too much room. You've got to double cover this guy. You know, they get underneath him, but... He's on the plane. First out. Bledsoe perp finds that throwing lane. There's no linebacker to impede the throw. Gets the ball to Moles, and they're alive and still moving. Yes, they are, with five and a half minutes remaining in the fourth quarter, and the Eagles by 10 at 16 to 6. But the Bills and Eagles territory at the 39. Bledsoe takes the snap, almost stumbles as he goes back. Sets up, lets it go. It is incomplete, almost intercepted. Incomplete, in and out of the hands of Bobby Shaw, and then almost picked off. Roderick Hood has a shot at it. Roderick Hood, on the deflection, has an opportunity to intercept the football and could possibly seal this thing. That would have done it. That would have done it. But Actually, the, Bobby Shaw should have caught it. But the Eagles are trying to blitz, and they get piled up in the middle. They need to spread that thing out a little bit, not just coming from the inside all the time, but, but off the edges. Second and ten. This time, the shotgun with three wide receivers. Bledsoe back again. Here comes the rush. He steps up. He fires over to the far side to Campbell, who is tripped up by Roderick Hood, shy of the 30. Roderick Hood just lowers the boom. Roderick Hood, a free agent, who was actually a walk-on at Auburn, Third down five. Made this team by surprise. Didn't know him from Robin Hood when the <laughs> summer began. And here he is playing in a very critical time. It is third and five for the Bills at the Eagles 36. No shotgun. Back goes Bledsoe. He has time. He pumps. He fires. He has a completion on the near side of the field. And this time he goes back to Bobby Shaw at the Eagles 26. Tackle on the play by Hood, but the Bills pick up an important first down. Four and a half minutes to play. Now, the Bills can't take much more time because they need to get the ball back again after they score this time. Eagles up 16 to 6. Four and a half minutes remaining in the fourth quarter. Eagles trying to hang on. Ball at the 26. Bledsoe under center. He's back. He's looking. He's looking. Firing for the end zone. Him, not for the end zone, over the middle, complete to Bobby Shaw. He looked deep and then came back to Shaw at the nine-yard line. Shaw made the reception and was hit immediately by Michael Lewis. See, they're just picking apart now this zone. And Shaw and Eric Moe's running good routes on the outside. They're being patient with their routes. They're finding the, the little windows in the zone, and Bledsoe is getting the ball to them. And Shaw broke underneath and made the catch. Back goes Bledsoe again. He fires out. He, it's incomplete. 
dropped by Mark Campbell, and it's probably just as well for the Bills because he was still in bounds at the time and did not pick up much. So that'll bring up a second down and goal at the eight. Big hit by Lito Shepard, knocking the ball out of there. The big tight end never had the ball long enough for a possession. Molds out to the far side. He's the guy to fear the most. Out to the near side. And the slot is Shaw. Reed wide. Back goes Bledsoe. Pumps. Fires. Incomplete. Thrown high. Campbell, the tight end, should have had it. He touched it. He should have brought it down. He didn't. And now the Bills have a third down and goal from the eight. Third and goal from the eight. 3.34 remaining, and the Eagles lead by 10 at 16 to 6. And see, that was a big one. Campbell gets beyond the linebackers. He's beyond everybody. He's the guy that's been making the plays for Drew Bledsoe all afternoon long. This one, big catch, should have been made, but goes through his hands and out of the end zone. Third and goal at the 8. Slot to the near side, lone receiver to the far side. Here comes the blitz. Bledsoe fires over the middle, diving, and not in, I don't believe, is Dave Moore, the other tight end. He comes down inches from the goal line. Now the Bills have a decision to make. 319, 318. They need two scores. They need a touchdown and a field goal. They're this close. I think they have to go for it. Oh, they're going to go for it. Dave Moore makes a big, big reception and tries to dive for the end zone, but he's but, just shy of the touchdown. But, Mike, he never extended his hands. I think he was still trying to secure the football. He tries to dive for it, but he's short of the touchdown. It's a good call by the officials. They can review it if they want to, oh, but yeah. it, it's a good call. It was a good call. Now, are they calling for the replay? Is, is this a challenge? I haven't seen the red flag. And it would still be, with two minutes to play, more than two minutes to play, it would still be the coaches. But well, maybe it's just a timeout. Yeah, he's, I don't think he's, I don't think he's going to waste a timeout because the ball never crossed the plane. Wait, did he? We are not hooked up cleanly to the, the mics. The referee's mic has been malfunctioning all afternoon. Well, they're going down now to look at the review screen to try and, and figure out if... After reviewing the play, he determined the receiver caught, possessed the ball as he told to the goal line, and came loose while he recovered the ball. He was still short of the goal line. Therefore... It's a wasted timeout. That's called bad coaching. That's called very, very bad coaching. Why he went for a field goal in the first half into the wind, the 51-yard field goal when they were already deep in Eagles territory. Bad move. Bad move. <laughs> bad, bad move. He well, may be one of these coaches. He was a coordinator, defensive coordinator in Tennessee for a long time. Maybe that's that's where he belongs. But his head coaching decisions, and I'm Mike and I don't, don't, don't follow him all the time. How much do we know from his decisions other than what we've seen today? But, but from what we've seen today, he is not a wise head coach. Sam Gash and Joe Burns, both in the backfield. They have Sam inches Gash. to go. Must be the only guy in the National Football League that still wears a neck brace. Backs in the eye. Bloodshot. Sneaks. He has the touchdown. They could have had it without wasting a timeout. But that's fine from an Eagles standpoint. We won't argue. It's a 16 to 12 game and the extra point will make it 16 to 13. 2.49 to go. But the Bills do not have a complement, a full complement of timeouts. Here is Lindell for the extra point to put the Bills within a field goal. 
The ball is spotted, kicked up good. And we have a 16-13 Eagles lead with just a little bit too much time left to feel comfortable. Especially in the fact that the, the last time the Eagles had the football, they didn't hold it for very long. Number one of the season. The Bills, the same length of time away from evening their record at two and two. They started out like a house on fire and then played a miserable game last week in Miami. And while they have been better today, they have still made many mistakes. Next week, the Eagles and the Washington Redskins in a four o'clock game. Redskins leading New England 20 to 10. Minnesota 35, the 49ers nothing. St. Louis 30 to 13 in the fourth quarter over Arizona. And Tennessee over Pittsburgh 23 to 13. Cincinnati over Cleveland 21 to 14. I am telling you, Marvin Lewis can coach. Jacksonville leading Houston 20 to 17. Dallas and the Jets at 4 o'clock. In New York. Yeah. Bill Parcells coming back to see his old Jets team. Did pretty well when he came back to see his old Giants team a couple of Monday nights ago. Yes, he sure did. The Bengals have beaten Cleveland 21 to 14. They are no longer winless. Would love to say that about the Eagles in just a few minutes. But they will be long minutes, I can tell you that. They will be anxious moments. 16 to 13, the Birds lead the Bills. Another final. Minnesota beat the 49ers 35 to 7. The Vikings undefeated, 4 and 0. Oh. Eagles looking for the onside kick. Crash for deep man. Do they hit it hard? They do. It's a line drive, and it's going to roll in and out of the end zone. I think that's a good smart good. play. Yeah, it's good strategy. First of all, they line up in the squib kick formation as if they're going to try and get the onside kick. Then they switch out of it. But the Eagles have their hands team on the field. And then they kick the ball long and in and out of the end zone. Redskins final beat New England 20 to 17. So the Redskins will come in with a three and one record. Brown on his feet. So now the Eagles with two timeouts left in a two minute warning. That's gonna also stop the clock at, at the two minute point. First and 10 at the 20. Westbrook, the tailback, takes the handoff, looks for running room, gets about three. Westbrook wiggled his way up to the 23-yard line and then stopped. Clock stopped. Well, the Bills call a timeout right away. It, as soon as Westbrook goes down, they're jumping around to get the timeout call. Both teams with one timeout remaining. It'll be second down and about seven. This gets tense, Mike. Very, very tense. This football team, that was a penalty flag throw. What would that be about? There was nothing out of the ordinary that happened right there. Unless uh, during the, the substitution, you, you get too many guys in that huddle. Here it is. Officials having a regular meeting in there. No foul on the plane. Second 
down. They decided that there was no foul on the play. Okay. Somebody just liked throwing the flag. And a second down and seven. Brown whooping it up again. 2.40 remaining in regulation. Buck Porter and Richie are the backs. In the eye. Receivers slotted to the near side. McNabb on second down. Looks left. Fires. And it is caught by Pinkston. Juggled and dropped. And they rule it no catch. Incomplete. And that stops the clock. That only used six seconds. It was thrown low by McNabb. Pinkston tried to dig it out. Looked like he had, but then he lost the handle. Uh, again, you see these guys getting antsy, getting too anxious to make the play. You just have to relax. Under all sorts of circumstances, when you're a professional athlete, you have to be able to block out all of the things going on around you, relax, and make plays. You got to throw the ball out there, give Pinkston a catchable ball. Pinkston's got to catch the ball and make a play. Staley in an open set with Richie. Back goes McNabb, third down, steps up, looks, fires, and it is caught! Great catch by Thrash for a first down! Great catch by Thrash at 227, and then he rolls out of bounds. And this is exactly what I mean. Donovan stands in that pocket, he gets great protection, Thrash patient with his route, moves to the inside and gets back to the outside and Donovan hits him with the ball making plays. This is what the playmakers have to do. Goes up the field presses to the inside, gets back to the outside. An excellent route and an excellent catch. What a great play by Fresh. Richie and Buckholder in the backfield. Eagles should run it again. Motion Fresh. Give us the Buckholder. And Buckholder is stacked up and brought down. Nothing there, maybe a yard. 220-219, and the Bills will take their last time out. So what does Buckholder do here? The one thing that he's that he's sure to do is secure the football. He's not so worried about how hard he's running up into the hole, but he's certainly concerned about not giving up the football. Let me tell you something. This Eagles defense missing, the people that it's missing has done a wonderful job. Regardless. I mean, the job that Sheldon Brown and Lito Shepard and Clinton Hart but, yeah, and Michael Lewis. You really have to give it to this secondary. You know, you've got one guy with, with experience back there, and he's only a second-year player in Michael Lewis, only because he got to play a lot last year. He's a starter this year, and everybody else out there they're fill-ins and you have to give these guys credit for the job that they've done today you're playing against Drew Bledsoe one of the best known pocket quarterbacks in the National Football League and Eric Moser caught 100 balls last year I mean you're talking about guys who can put some points on the board and they've been very very good at keeping them off of the off of the scoreboard right now it is second down and nine 219 to play in the fourth quarter the Bills now out of timeouts. But of course, the two-minute warning will stop the clock. You know, but as we shared earlier, er, earlier, these guys have to grow up quickly. You know, you're missing Bobby Taylor. You're missing all of your all pros. Troy Vincent's not in the game. Bobby Taylor and Brian Goff is the best on this football team. You're missing these guys. Backs in the eye. Westbrook the tailback. Westbrook takes the handoff. He breaks it. He's at the 50. 45-40. He's going to go. Brian Westbrook in for his first NFL touchdown. Brian Westbrook breaks through that defensive line, and everybody's sucked up trying to make a play. When he gets in the secondary, there's no catching him. Look at all of the players in his wake. 62 yards. Brian Westbrook. And the fans are leaving Ralph Wilson Stadium. Now the hush has come over where Ralph Wilson Stadium. Another touchdown by the Eagles means another $100 for the Eagles Youth Partnership courtesy of 1-800-SAFE-AUTO. 
The clouds have lifted and the sun has just come out here at Ralph Wilson Stadium. And Brian Westbrook has sealed the deal. He has done that as he broke through the wave of bills and took it to the house. Here is the extra point. It's up and it is good. And it is 23-13. The Eagles lead and remaining. With that touchdown, Lockheed Martin donates a computer to Philadelphia's under schools through the Lockheed Martin Touchdowns for Technology program. That could be the Volkswagen driver of the game, and you got to love it. Brian Westbrook sealing the deal for the Eagles with that great, great run right up the middle. He gets a couple of really good blocks on the outside, and once he gets into the secondary, nobody lays a finger on him. You can just see it, Mike, as he came to midfield. That was it. That was it. It was just Brian Westbrook and a bunch of guys in his wake. The second-year player out of Villanova, a big, big run, sealing the deal. And sealing the Eagles' first victory of the season, and they will be back at Lincoln Financial Field next Sunday against the Washington Redskins, who are now 3-1. and one. as they have beaten New England this afternoon, 20 to 17. And John, that should be fun. John Wilburn and Hank Fraley getting key blocks on that run by Westbrook. Boy, did this football team need a lift. Boy, did they need an afternoon that turned out as this one has. Acres to kick off. But the butterflies are gone from our stomachs. It's taken by Antonio Brown at the 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, and down. Brown on the return. So Antonio Brown will have to wait for another week to break one. They are heading out into the streets of Buffalo and Orchard Park. Justin Ennis shaken up. We will be awaiting the press conference, the Andy Reid and the Donovan McNabb press conferences. One of the things we will be most concerned about is the injury, the hamstring suffered by Troy Vincent, because you do not want to go against the Redskins and those receivers. Well, you don't want to have to rely on these young guys all season long. You, you want to see some of the veterans come back some of the key players that you really counted on going into this season. Yeah, it's nice to have good backup players that can come in and give these guys a break, but you really want to have your key people, and you really look forward to getting a Brian Dawkins back and guys like that that really make a difference to this team. Absolutely. Next week, Lavernius Coles, and he can burn. And Rod Gardner. On first down, penalty flags fly as Bledsoe completes a pass Bledsoe to Eric Moulds up at the 42-yard line, but well, that should do it. Penalty against the Eagles. Hands to the face. There's the Toyota two-minute warning brought to you by our local Tri-State Toyota dealers. Toyota, get the feeling. There's the two-minute warning with the score of the Eagles. 23, the Bills 13 on the Eagles radio network. 94 WYSP. Dear Midas. Back we are with 157 to go. The Eagles are going to win this one. They're up 23 to 13. You know, Greg Williams. You promise? I promise. Okay. This one, right. this one I promise. All right. Uh, Greg Williams has some interesting coaches on his staff. Some very highly respected coaches like Dick LeBeau. Well, and some assistant. not so highly respected. <laughs> well, he has Kevin Gilbride as his offensive coordinator. He's the guy that Buddy took the yeah, swing at. That, that famous to. punch? Famous punch. Because he didn't like his chuck and duck offense. Bledsoe over the middle with a penalty flag flying as he connects with Joe Burns, who was then tackled. He killed him, Brown hit him first, and then they played, finished him off, holding against the Bills. Our statistician, Rich Berg, our spotter, Frank Gumieni. 
our production director, Ed Bannis, production assistant, Andy Coffin, engineer, Walt Jones, engineering coordinator, Lane Massey, engineering supervisor, Richard Bay, studio coordinator, Andrew Swank, studio assistants, Ian Cohen, George Hickman, Donovan Kane, Tony Marie Wise, and John Floyd, studio director, John Russell, operations manager, Tim Sabian, and our producer, the legendary Joseph A. McPeak. He is a legend. He is. And I'm told in the Northeast he's truly a legend. He is. Truly. Bledsoe winds up again, fires over the middle, and it is incomplete as Michael Lewis had an interception go out of his hands. No interceptions by the Eagles this afternoon yet. Yeah, but they played outstanding in that secondary. You know, yeah. Especially for a group of young guys. You know, they've They've gotten help. They've given up a lot of cushion, and they pretty much have to do that against an Eric Moles. Um, but they played a sound football game, especially for young guys who are trying to grow up and learn their way around in this league. Second down and 20 for the Bills. End of the shotgun. Bledsoe again. He loops it over the middle, and it's dropped by Bobby Shaw. Bobby Shaw hasn't had a real good game. He fumbled the ball that Bobby Shaw resulted in a big turnover near the end of the first half. Third down. 138 remaining here in the ball game. Eagles up 23 to 13. Half of this place is empty. Shotgun formation for Bledsoe. Bledsoe has not played badly this afternoon. He has not had much help. He fires and leaping for the football is Bobby Shaw, who comes down with it way short of a first down. Well, the Eagles are just dropping back. It's a three-man rush this time. They're dropping, even Indy Kalou, dropping back in the secondary and playing pass coverage, just keeping the ball in front. If they're going to pick up a little bit, pick up a little bit, and keep the clock running. I'll tell you, a bunch of guys have had outstanding games today. Here is Bledsoe again, stepping up. He's looking, he's being chased, and he fires the football out of bounds which is kind of strange on fourth down. Why would you do that on fourth down? You take a chance and throw it downfield. That is a strange oh boy. fourth down he, play. He, you know what? And now this, he's putting his hands to his helmet. This guy is going to get abused all week long for that play. Oh, and should be. I mean, you just you just give it a, a chuck down the field, and hopefully something will happen. But he's chased by Darwin Walker, and he just gets rid of the football. That's rather. It. Rather than just throw it downfield and hope that someone makes a play, that's, you're going to turn it over. That's one I haven't seen before. <laughs> yeah, that's a new one. Greg Williams probably taught him that. <laughs> now, now, Greg's made some bonehead calls today, but I think that was the bonehead play. <laughs> that would do it. That's how Meineke stopped the game. That <laughs> that's how Meineke messed the game. <laughs> Eagles into their kneel down right here with 104, and the rest of these hardy souls are now departing. Donovan McNabb kneels down. No wonder, no wonder Van Miller, their venerable play-by-play -play man of 37 years, is leaving. He was screaming out the window, I can't take it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Stay tuned for the Andy Reid and Donovan McNabb press conferences. They should be more pleasant than usual. Well, yeah, don't count on that. <laughs> <laughs> Donovan kneels down one more time and but that is all she wrote but Donovan got back to playing football like Donovan did, and that's what we needed to see and that's what this team needed this is going to be a big boost for the psyche of this football team and that is truly what they needed you bet and it will make the plane ride home a lot more fun Eagles win one this afternoon as the final seconds tick away and it has become official that the Eagles have won their first game of the 2003 season as they bury the Bills here in Buffalo, 23 to 13. Back with more on the Eagles Radio Network, 94 WYSP. To illustrate the new Volkswagen Touring's superior 4X 